favorite Overwatch characters. Ass. I don't know, man. Just fucking smash that shit, dude. I need that fucking like button to turn into a fucking domestic abuse victim. Smash that shit into a fucking bloody pulp. <laughs> Bring Halo back has a new video? Yeah, I saw. Dude, watch some Catch a Predator. Bro, like, I'm not trying to get clipped by fucking NBC. Because I feel like they'll copyright claim or strike. You can dislike and like at the same time? No, you can't. You cannot. We already watched the actual Coach Red Pill video. Somebody recommended it the other night. Bruh deleted my comment. The oppression? Who deleted it? Cody Wooden with the two? Appreciate it, man. First donation of the night, man. Really appreciate it. No message, though. What's up with that shit, man? Good morning, Griffin. Or I'm guessing you're over in the UK, right? It's like 11.30 here, so. But as you're coming in, dude, make sure to smash that like button. Gaming in 2021 is boring? I agree, man. There ain't shit to do. I mean, I'd probably be playing Surf regardless, but you know. Afternoon from Australia, Griffin. What's up, man? So, Coden, we or fuck, dude, I butchered that. Cody wouldn't with the two. Griffin put the gay in gaming. Am I right? That's right, man. But appreciate the two. Sorry, man. You gotta put the gay in gaming. Like, if you're not putting the gay in gaming, you're doing something fucking wrong, bro. Like, let's keep it real. Let's fucking keep it real. Have you seen... Wait, where did the fucking go? Dreamcast guy's new video about Epic buying Fall Guys? I've seen it. I didn't watch it. Is it good? Should we take a look? I don't know, man. I'm kind of open. I had, like, a big-ass project due today, so I'm, like, having a literal weight lifted off my shoulders at the moment, which is kind of nice. Dude, my, like... I feel like I'm way too far over to the left. I can't afford this oh, fuck. Like my chair shifted or something. Fuck with my keyboard real quick. Abel with the two. Why isn't your name Griffin Gaming? Because I'm like working up to that, man. I have to earn that. I haven't earned it yet. Dude, what the fuck? Like... Everything in my setup just feels really weird right now. I don't like. What the fuck, man? The Manny team with the two? Appreciate it, man. Hey, you. Hey to you. Call in to Michael Does Life. I would, but my Skype is like my real name, so I'm not trying to get doxxed, bro. <laughs> I think you can probably understand that, because isn't like Skype linked up to your Microsoft account now? So I'm not really trying to go down that road. Make a new Skype.
Shit, I can't vote. All right, I got it then. Fuck it. You're so lazy. I love it. Yeah. Bro, that's the point of these streams is low effort. <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. Able with the two, your last name isn't gaming. I mean, I wouldn't want to dox myself, man, but I'm not saying no, and I'm not saying yes, so take that as you will. You know, if you want to believe it, if you don't, it's up to you, man. You do you, man. You can't vote. What are you, a woman? That's right, man. I can't afford this shit. Top 10 jokes that went too far. The women's right to vote. Oh shit, somebody's gonna fucking cancel me, dude. We love Griffin because he keeps it real, at least. Seem like it? That's right, man. I'm not gonna bullshit you. I should make a video on stocks? Like, what about stocks? Like, I can't straight up just tell you what the fuck to buy. Because, you know, I'll get in legal trouble. Because some dumbass will, like, literally take that as, like, Dude, I'm fucking guaranteed to make money. And this fucking piece of shit lied. So then they'll fucking sue me. Which they actually can. If you tell people what to buy, they can actually fucking sue you if you're not, like, a financial advisor. Which is really fucking stupid. Because, like, a financial advisor can be just as fucking wrong. But apparently if you have a sheet of paper, you know, like, that makes it all good. <laughs> like, that fucking sheet of paper. Kind of funny. Dude, why the fuck can I not hit this shit? This is like L City tonight. Probably gonna swap. I can't pay. Dude, this is like real. Something feels fucking off about my setup. I don't know what it is. Like, my mouse and keyboard just feel fucking off. It's weird. I don't like. Top 10 jokes that went too far. Crap Gamer. Dude, Crap Gamer is like just re uploading the same fucking video now. Dude doesn't even make like a new video. He just re uploads the old ones. Kind of love to see it. I mean, I kind of have respect for that level of pure laziness, you know, because I can relate. But at the same time, it's like, God damn, bro. This dude is making no fucking secret. He does not give a shit. All right, well, that's cool. That server's not working. That's fire. Um, so I can just do this. Are Razer and Alienware overrated? I mean, personally, I like my Razer keyboard, so I'm good with it. I don't know. I think they're fine. Alienware, I think so, but, I mean, it's just expensive shit. What the fuck, dude? Why is it not letting me get in a fucking server? Piece of shit. Um, Dude, I'm, like, trying to find a fucking map I can play. Forbidden? Maybe that's not completely fucked up. Dude, it's like not letting me fucking play. Overrated and overpriced, but there's nothing wrong with them at all. I don't know. I heard people have really shitty luck with Alienware and their support, so I guess there's that. I have no fucking clue, man. I'm not like a pro on it. is man but that's great you go for it dude I've never heard of the brand ducky like what is that the fuck is a ducky man oh shit I almost hit Alright, can I make the hardest part of the map? Yeah, I got it. Let's go, dude.
Yeah, this should be a decent run. Unless I just screw something up royally here. Which has happened. So DJ Aftershock with the two. Alienware owned by Dell. Automatic L. Yeah, I know that. I just heard like they use really shitty like Chinese components for like their power supplies and motherboards. But I don't know. I'm not like an expert on PC shit. Plus their laptops are literal fucking bricks. But people like them because they use the desktop version of the GPUs instead of the mobile version. So I guess there's that. I don't know. But they're really expensive. They're even more expensive than like razor blades. Which razor blades in my opinion are really nice. I had one when I was in undergrad. So I had a good experience with mine at least. Oski Waski with the two. What if Dreamcast guy was shaggy? Nah, I don't think so, man. I don't think so. Nah, the guy at um GameStop that I called Shaggy, like he literally looked like a fucking stoner. Like he looked like Shaggy from Scooby Doo, bro. Like, there's no fucking other way to put it. He was tall and lanky. He had like fucking chin fuzz. Like the dude was like nasty looking all the time too. Like I don't know. Like, massively oversized fucking polo shirts that had, like, the video game icons on them. Like, these nasty-ass, like, baggy jeans. He'd wear, like, fucking sandals. I don't know, dude. He's a fucking loser. Yeah, zoinks. Dude's a clown. I don't know. But apparently, like, the whole fucking premise of Scooby-Doo was about, like, um, the four of them getting, like, high or some shit and thinking... ...there's not how true that is. That may just be some, like, made-up shit that I heard online. But apparently that's, like, the premise behind Scooby-Doo is, like, it's four teens, like, getting fucking high in a van. And, like, thinking they're solving mysteries. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's pretty funny if you think about it. I mean, it's like Pokemon. The whole premise of that is, like, um, Ash gets sent on his mission to fill out the Pokédex by Professor Oak because... So, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of fucking hidden meaning behind um, kids' shows and shit. Does he still work at GameStop? I haven't lived in that area for four years, so I have no idea. Scooby-Doo getting high, solving mysteries. I, Bro, I'm pretty sure that's, like, the hidden idea behind it. That's why, like, Shaggy's always fucking hungry, because he's, like, a massive stoner, so he has the munchies. <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. Like, apparently that's the fucking reality. I mean, you think about it, because an adult had to come up with this shit. So, of course, it's not going to be, like, some innocent thing. I mean, if you look at the old seasons of fucking Spongebob or whatever, there's a lot of, like, adult humor in that. So it wouldn't surprise me. Oski Woski with the two. I thought it was a rumor, but I guess it, it makes sense, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I heard it was a rumor, but... I don't know, man. I'm not, like, a fucking Scooby-Doo expert. I can't afford this shit. That's the reason why Scooby-Doo can talk? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're all, like, fucking high. Like, on acid or some shit. I don't know. But it's, like, not a coincidence. They're in, like, a fucking hippie van, too. Which, you know, that makes it even more, like, yeah, that's probably what's fucking happening, man. Driving around, getting fucking high. What's my opinion on Fortnite? The new Chun-Li skin is pretty nice, man. I actually downloaded the game, made an account just to buy that. So I'm now the proud owner of a Chun-Li Fortnite skin. <laughs> Alright, shit. I fu oh, good. I fucking salvaged it. Not enough so to skip, though. Dude, I'm actually getting the hang of this shit. What the fuck? Maybe I just needed a couple warm-up runs, bro. China has your info now, but it's worth it. Facts, man. It's kind of ironic, too, because she's, like, Chinese in the game. So I traded some shit to China for the Chinese booty. 
I don't know. I feel like that's a good meme skin to have. I just felt like, you know what? This is like the one Fortnite skin I actually fucking want. I don't give a shit about the game or anything. I just want this fucking skin. Because that way I can say that I own it. It's a piece of history, bro. Like, if they ever put D.Va in Fortnite, I'll buy that shit for sure. Ryu with a gun, though? I guess, man. I don't know. Chun-Li's Thunder Thighs are pretty fucking nice. Thick default dance? Facts, man. Oh, we got a fucking spammer. Hold on. Let me ban him real quick. Ban anybody spamming in the chat. A dead author gets cancelled? What the fuck does that mean? Get that ass banned? That's right, man. Griffin, do you think you are banned in China? I have no idea, man. They probably don't know who the fuck I am. They probably don't give a shit. I'm not, like, high profile. Oski Waski with the two? Yo, hold up. Would the real Shaggy please stand up? That's right, man. Have I played Spec Ops The Line? Like, way fucking back. It was kind of boring, if you ask me. Like, a lot of people really fucking overhyped that game. It's like, okay, cool, you kill a bunch of civilians. But, like, that was about the only thing that was really memorable about that game, in my opinion. But people, like, hyped it up, like, going, it'll make you question your existence as a human. I'm like, holy shit, dude. Like, sure, gassing a bunch of fucking civilians is, like, I guess kind of shitty, but it's a fucking video game, bro. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's not, like, it's not, like, the biggest deal. Am I going to do something for 250k? I don't know, like, what? What do you mean? Like, what do you mean, dude? Um, probably I'll just keep uploading videos, if anything. I don't know. Dude, I've fought... So, like, all of a sudden, my channel has started gaining subs again. Like, for a while, it was, like, just fucking dead stopped. Like, I would upload a video, nothing would fucking happen. The video would get, like, 70k views. Like, maybe I'd gain 10 subs. Like, YouTube would, like, literally, every time I upload, like, remove... again it's been dude the past couple months on youtube has been really fucking weird nah it's not shadow banned everybody's been having this problem i've talked to some other people and they've had the same issue so it's not like a shadow ban they changed the algorithm it usually happens in january or february like your sub growth just fucking dies when they do the annual refresh of the fucking recommended and this time it just happened a little bit later into the year than typical so, I mean, like, that's why I didn't freak out. It's like, okay, yeah, it's probably just fucking temporary, which it was. It seems to be fine, though. I mean, shit, dude, I uploaded a video that was demonetized for almost 24... Not 24 hours, like, 13 hours. And it still is, like, almost at 50k views, which is, like, unfucking heard of. Because every other video I've had that's been uploaded that's been demonetized, like, right when the video goes live, like, dies off at, like, 20 or 30. Like, the first Darman video I did, that shit got demonetized. And then, the two videos about the dude saying that if you're poor, you shouldn't play video games, those got fucking demonetized. I'm trying to think what else. The vegan teacher one got demonetized. Dude, like, YouTube's algorithm's just been kind of fucky recently, but it seems to be fine now. Hopefully. 
I'm stuck at 211k. I mean, honestly, man, I don't really give a shit about the sub count itself. Like, as long as I have, like, a good amount of people watching my content, like, that's all that really fucking matters. Like, you can have a million subs and get, like, 5,000 views on a fucking video. Like, who the hell cares? Like, sure, you don't, you may not get the fucking gold plaque or whatever, but, you know. I mean, that's just, like, something I wouldn't even put out anyway, so I don't really care that much. Like, it'd be kind of cool to have, but at the same time, it's like, eh. You know, I'd rather, like, actually have an audience that actually likes my content instead of just, you know, bullshitting my way to a million subs and then just, like, <laughs> losing interest of everybody. I don't know. Because they said it's racist XD. I don't know what's racist about Dr. Seuss. What the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck is racist about Dr. Seuss? Aren't they not... They're not even fucking people, bro, right? They're like fucking cat things or whatever. I don't know. They never looked like actual people to me in fucking Dr. Seuss, so... I have no idea where that's coming from. Abel with the five, are you saying the face reveal for your Darman debut video? That's right. I'm gonna be featured in a fucking Darman video, man. It's gonna be my ultimate, like, fucking, um... What do you call that shit? I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of the word off the top of my head. But, oh well. Shit. Bucket list? Uh, I wouldn't say that. I don't know. There's like another word I'm looking for. It's whatever. You sound tired? Yeah, I yeah. am. I'm typically tired. Dream is actually Darman? Damn. That'd be pretty clutch, bro. Not gonna lie. Do you have that silver play button? Yeah, I have it. I got it back like, what? A year ago? Yeah, about a year ago, man. Like, they sent it, I think, two or three weeks after I hit 100k, so I got it pretty quick. It's typically not that long to ship. Then again, I live in the US, so, you know, they just ship it from here. Bro, the stream is really gaming? Yeah, for now, we're gonna watch some videos in a little bit. Then it won't be gaming. Well, I guess it'll be, like, gaming topics, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it kind of makes sense, though, to not have it, because, like, everybody would just type in 5 or 1 anyway. Like, nobody's going to be like, I rate this video 3 stars out of 5. You know, it just, it wasn't quite doing it for me, man. It didn't really push it over the top to get the full 5 stars. So, I could see why they didn't do that. But the new Diamond and Pearl remakes, I'm going to get for sure. Yeah, those look fire, man. I'm hyped for those. I'm not, like, the biggest fan of the art style, but I don't really give a shit at the end of the day because, you know, Pokemon's not really about the fucking graphics, so... Eh, whatever. Oski Oski with the two. When is your Shining Fades coming in? Did it say? No. It's still delayed. I don't think Amazon knows when they're getting more. shit. The fuck, man? How did I choke that? Video replies need to come back. I can see why they don't do that, though, because it just eats up server costs. Like, that's really expensive. I don't blame YouTube for not wanting to do that. That's really expensive to host. Shit. Thank you. 
The old star rating was like customer survey scale rating. I never know what to put. You either put one or five stars, man. Like most people don't put four or three or two. They just put a fucking. That's the way I look at it, at least. I don't know. Oh shit, fuck. Bitch. Dude, I fucking choked that. Uh... Um, woman. That's right. I got a survey for one of your videos to put inspirational. Where Dreamcast guy called you a homophobe. Damn. That is a pretty inspirational video. Choke that. What kind of mic am I? It's about, I think, seven or eight hundred dollars total to actually like start using it effectively. So unless you're really, like, fucking serious about audio quality, I wouldn't worry about it. It's definitely not worth the price. Like, mainly people buy this mic because it's kind of a flex, man. Like, it's like this iconic fucking YouTube mic. You know, like, everybody associates the fucking, like, little black mic or whatever you call this shit. I don't know how to describe it. But, like, it's just a really iconic looking microphone. And people are like, dude, I'm a fucking pro YouTuber. I have a fucking sure. Like, it's what all the podcasts and shit use. I don't know. It's like a really high... I mean, it's a really good mic. Don't get me wrong. But for like... Seven... Oh shit, bro. The server just took a fucking dump. It was lagging like a motherfucker right there. It's Oski Waski with the five. One second, dude. Um, have you ever thought of making a Minecraft realms for fans? And would you join once in a while to see what's up? I had one before, but the drama got really fucking annoying, so I just stopped paying for it. Like, motherfuckers kept stealing shit, destroying people's houses, that type of stuff, and it got really annoying to deal with it. So, I just canceled that shit. I don't know. Whenever you have people... I only want the SM7B to flex, laugh my ass off. Dude, it's a flex mic, 100%. Like, the only reason you're buying a sure SM7B 9 out of 10 times is because you're like, oh, dude, every fucking big YouTuber has this fucking mic. I'm going to flex this shit. Even though I don't flex this shit because I don't really tell anyone I do YouTube. So whenever people, like, walk in they see the mic, it's like, oh, dude, that's a really cool mic. And I'm like, yeah, I heard it was good, man. So I decided to pick it up and try it out. You know. <laughs> I don't fucking reveal the true intention of it. CS surfing's hard, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's it's pretty difficult. Like, once you get the hang of it, though, it's not bad. You can um master it pretty quickly once you get the hang of it. Well, I say master it. I'm, like, not a fucking master of this shit at all. So I take that back. But you can get decent. Let's put it that way. 
You can get to a point where you can beat most new maps you encounter in like five to 10 minutes. Which at first, it feels like it takes hours to learn a map. Which it kind of does, because at the same time, you're getting a feel for Surf. But, yeah. Like, this is a pretty tough map, to be honest. Like, it may look pretty simple. Yes. Or the Sure 7 for music and all. I mean, fair enough, man. I want a Blue Yeti. Be a decent mic. Wait, would a Blue Yeti be a decent mic starting off? I want to get a Blue Yeti, man. Get a Audio Technica AT 2020. Blue Yetis are the most overpriced, just overrated microphones out there. Like, I have a Blue Yeti. It sounds like shit. Like, just not even a joke. Like, the um, Audio Technica AT2020, the USB version of that mic is infinitely better than a Yeti. Like, Blue does a really good job of advertising their mics, but they're not good. Like, you're kind of just throwing out a hundred bucks, if I'm being honest. I used one for like two years. What is the goal of this game? Just to get, like, beat your time, I guess. I have a Yeti and it's okay, but I definitely don't recommend it at all. Now it's it's not worth a hundred bucks. It's like a forty dollar mic and a metal case. That's it. Scotty Man with the two. Has Big Man Gamers responded to your video yet? I don't think so, man. I think he's still working on it. He's got to put out a like fucking real banger on me, I guess. I don't know. Do you recommend studio headphones for games? I mean, if you want to, yeah. I have studio headphones. I really like them. Baz Gaming with the two. What are your thoughts on the blue snowball mic? That's all right. I mean, it's literally a blue Yeti, basically. Just a little worse. But, I mean, for 40 bucks, I don't really think you can go wrong with that. But again, if you're, like, looking for serious audio quality with the USB mic, get the AT2020 from Audio-Technica. And if you really want to... But yeah, the Audio Technica 20, AT2020, I think it's called. I don't know. One of my friends has it. It's really good. I've heard the mic quality. It sounds nice. Shit, I barely didn't make it. Um, D27 SHG with a two. We should 1v1 in Halo. Why? Bro, I'm not like a pro Halo player. I'm like one of the most casual motherfuckers in Halo that you can find. Epic Man Pog with the two. What happens if someone joins that isn't a gamer? They get fucking knifed. With this fucking blue karambit, bro. Consider yourself fucking warned. Mar the Hasman with a two. Are you winning, son? I'm trying, man. I'm doing my best. Sarcastic with a five. Honestly, Griff, I don't know what it is about today that I'm feeling absolutely depressed, so I'm glad you're streaming tonight. Sorry to hear that, man. I don't know what it is either. I mean, today was pretty shit for me. Like, literally, um, I had my interview or whatever, so I went to bed at like 5 a.m. I woke up at, I think, 8 then I did the interview at like 9.30. I ordered McDonald's. And then I like passed the fuck out on my couch. <laughs> and then I woke up at like, I think 12. And like for three hours straight, I just felt like complete ass. Cause I fell asleep right directly after eating McDonald's, I guess, like their breakfast. And it just like fucked my stomach, I don't know. So that was pretty shit, but I'm feeling a lot better now. Brandon Trenor with the five. 
What's your long-term goal for YouTube slash being an internet personality? I don't really have a long-term goal, to be honest. I'm just kind of doing this shit for fun. Like, I'm, like, basically, I'm already at the point where I'm, like, getting job offers and shit and, like, finding a company that I'm going to go work for. So I'm going to have an income and everything outside of YouTube, so I'll just keep doing this shit as a hobby. I don't know. It's never really been my goal for this to be, like, a job, if that makes sense. Because then it stops being fun. So, you know, because then I just do the really fucking sterile bullshit, popular fucking topic crap, you know, news videos, things of that nature. How are you, dude? Pretty good, man. Cannot complain. What if your boss found your channel? I would be genuinely surprised if they could find this channel. But whatever, I don't really care. If my boss found it, chances are, <laughs> like, not trying to go fucking ultra super flex here, but I could just be like, yeah, bro, you got a fucking problem with it? My YouTube makes more than you make in a fucking month. Gommel, pleb. <laughs> like, that'd be a fucking hardcore flex moment. Like, for real. Outriders is awesome. Grinding the legendaries and playing Remnant. I don't know. I've heard mixed shit on that game. I don't know. I may check it out, but I'll probably get it on sale. I mean, I don't have enough time to play video games as it is. Dylan Jewel with the two. Griffin leaving YouTube will be the end of an era. I guess so, man. I guess so. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm not like doing YouTube at age 60 or some bullshit like that. But if I am, who knows? Bro, who the fuck even knows? D27 SHGU with a two. Griffin, I am a tr or am I a true gamer? I think so, man. I'd say you've earned your gaming stripes. I, can't afford this shit. I would say so. Instantly fired. That's right. But I'd feel really fucking good. I'd feel absolutely great. Just fucking flexing on that motherfucker. It'd be worth it. UGJ with a five. I used to work at McDonald's, so I got it free. Six to five days a week for two years. As soon as I got a different job, I lost like 40 pounds, lol. Damn. It do be like that. I'm surprised you could eat that shit for that long, bro. I Like, I could not eat McDonald's every day of the week. I would feel like complete fucking shit. Like, literally. Whenever I eat McDonald's, it feels like <laughs> my fucking, like, intestines are clogged up with, like, fucking silly putty or bullshit like that. I don't know. Scotty man with the two, what would be the flag for gamers? I have no idea, man. I guess the autism speaks flag. That could be pretty good. Found a friend who blew up on TikTok and has about 1 million subs on YouTube. And he has been talking about making YouTube his full-time job. Think it's dumb though, since he's an engineer. Your thoughts? I mean, if he's making, that's the, all right, so if you're making bank and you're not, like, just blowing all your fucking money, then yeah, it's smart. Like, if you're making $40,000 a month off of fucking YouTube, then yeah, do that shit. You'd be fucking stupid to not do YouTube full-time if you're making $40,000 a month. Just don't blow all your money, save it, and, like, invest it, and then you'll be fine. But, yeah. It just depends. Do I lift though? Not, re not really. I mean, I would say the only lifting I do is like um, dumbbell shit. Like I do like bicep curls and that type of shit, but I don't really like do bench press. That's not really my thing. Like, this summer when I was working out every day, I got up to, like, 60-pound bicep curls with each arm, so... Pretty decent. But, no, I'm not... I'm not really, like, big on fucking benching and shit. That's not really for me. Griffin got fat again? Mmm... 
Maybe a little, but I wouldn't say like I'm like fucking Wings of Redemption. Anyone in here tried the Bulgarian method? I don't know what the fuck that is, man. Big Man Gaming has to be the funniest guy I've ever seen you roast. Yeah, I thought that was a pretty good video. That's why I was really fucking pissed off. Where it was like, dude, they fucking demonetized that shit. I'm like, god damn it. Like, this was the one fucking video I didn't want him to demonetize that I uploaded recently. Because I, I thought it was really fucking good. So, of course, it got fucking nuked in the algorithm. But, you know, it'd be like that. That's just the way it is, man. YouTube be hitting different in 2021. But what's funny is it was like green for like two hours after I uploaded it. And the second I made it public, fucking yellow. It's like they coordinated that shit perfectly. I couldn't stand him talking. That's kind of the point. My game pass, dude. Mo value, mo game, mo game pass, dude. I don't even know what the fuck that motherfucker said. That shit was really fucking stupid. Really fucking stupid. What the fuck is this map? The hell? What the fuck happened there? I like reset. Gaming. It's a pretty easy map. Oof. Martha Hazen with the five hospitality really making you fat? Wait, hospitality? What the fuck does that mean? I gained about 20 pounds working at a Hilton. Finally trimmed and toned the rest. But free food gets to you, man? I guess so. Like, I've never had that experience. Where I've... Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Oh, I guess down the middle. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That was retardedly stupid. Like, why did I need to do that? Like, I feel like it'd be cool to get free food where you work, but after a while, the food would just start tasting like shit. I don't know. Like, if I eat, too, like, the same thing every day for a while, it's like, eh. Kind of gets boring. Yo, shit. What the fuck was up with that? Like, I feel like the only place I could probably work and not get sick of the food is either Taco Bell or, um, what's it called? Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A and Taco Bell I could probably eat every day and never get sick of. Oh, we got another spammer. I mean, it's like, what the fuck do they think is going to happen, man? It's like, I'm not going to read your shit out loud if you're spamming, for one. And two, you're just going to get fucking banned. So. That's what people just don't seem to get, bro. It's like, I'm not going to fucking read your shit if you're spamming. Mar the has been with the five. I worked six years there and grew bored of $40 plates. Everyone said no one was spoiled, but... Everyone said no one was spoiled, but it ain't special when that's all you eat. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. 
I just feel like if you ate from the sh like same chef, it would get really boring after a while. Especially if there's a finite menu. I don't know. Because at least when I go to restaurants, I tend to just order the same thing every single time. Like, I don't really try different shit. Remember the gross ghost pepper hot sauce at Taco Bell? The green packets? Yeah, those are pretty good. Taco Bell, good for real? Dude, I love Taco Bell. I could eat Taco Bell, like, every fucking day. Like, their quesadillas are just fucking sexual. The, um, quesaritos were really good, but they removed them off the menu. You have to, like, order them on the app now, which is really fucking stupid. I guess that's how they're forcing people to use the app. But, I mean, other than that, man, their food's pretty good. Like, I love getting the Taco 12 packs, because then you just have food for, like, a couple days. So, it's pretty nice. Dude, and like fucking Baja Blast. That shit hits different, man. Baja Blast during like the summertime. Mm. NZXT PC coming tomorrow. Thanks for the recommendation. Awesome, man. Happy to hear that. Enjoy. Yeah, I'm thinking about ordering another PC through them pretty soon for streaming. So, as soon as I'm done with taxes, man. <laughs> that's like the one thing I'm like kind of like dude I gotta like save up some money for my fucking taxes because I'm gonna owe a lot because I made a lot more this year than last year so because not only did I like make more from YouTube but I also made more from like my internship reselling and just all that shit in general so also stocks my taxes that's right i mean at least i'm not like on here begging like please guys i'm gonna get fucking kicked out of my home if you know you don't give me money for my taxes like i have enough for my taxes i'm pretty sure it's just i don't want to spend a large sum of money just in case you know what i mean like i don't want to fucking overspend to be like fuck dude i gotta like start selling off a bunch of stocks and shit just to pay my fucking taxes i'd rather just know i have the money in my account and just not fucking worry about it Stonks, that's right. I don't want to sell my stocks too, because then you have to pay capital gains tax, which more fucking taxes, bro. Cringe. Taxes are big gay. Yeah, but I fucking hate taxes, man. There's one thing I could remove from this earth forever, it'd be the idea of fucking taxes. <laughs> Fuck taxes, man. It's depressing as shit. Like, you think about it. Oh, dude, I made, like, five grand this month. Oh, well, fuck you, man. You're losing a thousand of that shit. For no fucking reason. <laughs> I don't know. Like, that's about it, man. Dude, the government gets way... They get way enough money. It's just they overspend on everything because, like, all the fucking lobbyists and shit. You know, they give the, um, senators and congressmen jobs after they're done working in the government for, like, multi-million dollar salaries. So they just award, like, all these multi-billion dollar contracts that are way overpriced. Like, I think the average cost, they did, like, a thing, like, just for... ...a local government to how dumb that shit is. In my country, there's no separation from religion, so they spend too much useless money. What do you mean, like, from religion? Like, they build a bunch of, like, 
I'm guessing you live in the Middle East, right? Because that's like the only places I know where it's still like a religious state. Do they like spend money on mosques and shit like that? If I was God, I would remove the government. Facts, man. Just rule fucking hands on. You live in the Middle East? Gotcha. Yeah, no, I could see that would be annoying. Yeah, I know the Obamacare website cost 2.5 billion. And people were saying it was like a dog. It was like a broken website, too. Like, somebody could have literally built it for like a hundred bucks in a fucking weekend. <laughs> this shit was. I mean, it's so blatantly obvious. It's all these politicians giving their friends these massive multi billion dollar contracts. Yeah, like, people said it was more. It had more issues than, like, a standard WordPress blog. Like, that's how shitty it was. And they gave the dude $2.5 because he was a friend of Michelle Obama, I'm pretty sure. But it's like Bush also giving all his friends, like, the fucking military contracts for the Gulf War. So it's like, this shit happened. All 210505 with the two. Watch Mimology 101 new video. If it's political, nah, but maybe. I'll check. I'm not trying to get in the fucking politics type shit. Oh, fuck, dude. I butchered that. Bush had a lot of arms contracts from his time in the war. I guess, yeah. This map is weird? I agree. I'm not really a big fan. It's not, like, difficult or anything. It's just, like, really odd. It's not very aesthetically pleasing either, so I'm probably going to swap it. That's like the whole point of surf, bro. It's got to look clean. It's a visual experience, bro. This one actually populated. Griffin Gay Ming? That's right. Big Mommy Milkers map? Hell yeah. I forgot what I was watching the other day, and this one chicken, whatever it was, had like these really fucking nice tits, bro. I was like, damn. If only. Alright, can I use my knife? The U.S. lost 97% of the value, or the dollar. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, every currency does that, though. Like, the British pound used to be a literal pound of silver. So, that's not really practical. I mean, it's all relative. I just use servers to give me knives. Dude, I buy knives. Because I'm a gamer. Griffin, best Pokemon sets to buy right now. Vivid Voltage, Shining Fates, and Evolutions. If you can find them at a reasonable price. They're all gonna be very expensive because that's what everybody wants. Mar the Hasmin with the five, the real reason taxes have screwed us is because Dr. Seuss released those six offensive books like 60 to 50 years ago. Yeah, probably, man. Racism. Like, how the fuck is Dr. Seuss fucking racist, man? Like, <laughs> that's fucking a stretch. Like, Jesus Christ. 
Bro, the fucking cat in the hat promotes, promotes the fucking Ku Klux Klan. I guess, I don't know. Yeah, I'm about to switch the server, man. I don't like this fucking default knife. Pisses me off I have to verify my Discord account to use my own knife. Like, what the fuck? They can piss off with that, mate. But yeah, I finished the map, so that's all that matters. Yeah, that's pretty cringe, man. The thing is, like, didn't Dr. Seuss literally make a book about, like, racism being bad or something? I don't fucking know. It's stupid. Dude, there's no point in, like, trying to fucking rationalize this shit. Crackdown 3 stream when? Probably never. That'd be my best bet. There we go. I can actually use my own knife. Isn't that cool? Oh, it's one of these. Where you hit the ramp for the first time and you fucking drop. This is a pretty cool looking map though. I like this one a lot. There we go. A clean run, man. A clean fucking run. Thoughts on Panda Express? It's all right. I mean, Panda Express is pretty good. Like, their orange chicken fucking smacks, bro. The orange chicken, the Pacific shrimp. What else? They had this other type. Dude, I can't remember the names. But yeah, Panda Express is pretty good. How many frames are you getting? I have no idea. I mean, I can turn it on if you want. Probably not that many because I'm like molesting my CPU with um, OBS. For whatever reason, man, OBS just loves to fuck with me. <laughs> so I'm getting like 300, which is pretty good, I guess. And there's only so many you can get on CSGO. So. Yeah, 300-ish, I guess. I don't know. Dylan Jewel with a two, would you ever consider playing Valheim on stream? I did once. I mean, it's just kind of a boring game to be honest to watch. Like it's just resource collection, which I know a lot of people have asked me to use Minecraft footage for YouTube videos. It's like, bro, me collecting rocks for like 10 minutes is not exactly entertaining, but maybe, I don't know. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. I actually like Valheim a lot. I'm kind of at a point now where, like, I have to go fight the first boss to move forward. But I'm, like, just worried that I'm not going to be able to fucking do it. Because I have, like, leather armor and shit. Like, nothing really that great. And, like, a crude bow and everything. But I can't, like, get any new materials to upgrade. Because I tried to go to, like, the new forest area. One, all the trees are too hard. And two, like, I keep getting this crow popping up saying, get the fuck out of here. But yeah, I gotta fight, like, the fucking electric deer. And I don't really know how to feel about that. I'm probably gonna get my fucking ass beat. Bro, the first boss is easy. I've watched the boss fight. It looks pretty tough to me, honestly. Crackdown 3 stream? Nah. Ain't gonna happen. Ark is better because dinosaurs? I guess so, man. The Stranger with the 2? Do you ever play Titanfall 2 or Team Fortress 2? I'm not sure which one you mean. I don't play TF... Like, yeah, TF2 and Titanfall 2 is kind of dead. I don't know. I like the original Titanfall's multiplayer a lot better. Titanfall 2, I kind of felt like it was a step down in terms of the multiplayer, but 
I mean, it's still good. I played a lot of it when it came out, but not like recently. Uh, Fabian Tavares with D2. Appreciate it, man. Keep that same energy. I'm going to try my best, man. I'm going to give it my best shot. But appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. But yeah, we can get to some videos in a couple minutes here. I'll do like one or two more runs on this map and then we'll get started. The music is so meditative. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Like some nights I'll just put this shit on and play surf for a couple hours. And it's a nice way to clear your mind. Or like before a test or something. I'll just like kind of surf a little bit. Can I do ASMR for the rest of the stream? I don't think so, man. It's very creepy. This music is lit. Yeah, I think it's pretty good too, man. And then it's gonna go to a shitty song now. Now that we just said it was good. You torture me with how late you start these streams. I'm dead past 12. Dude, I'm dead past 12 too. You gotta get good, man. You gotta have that real gamer energy. But after this stream tonight, I got to finish up a video and then probably start on another one. Try to, like, rapidly release some videos here. I'm on the East Coast. What surf map is this? It's called Luna 2. Was actually really good. Yeah, this was a really good run. Shit. I carved off four seconds for my personal best. That's actually really fucking good. Damn. Weird to think that Zoom Eternal has been out a year. It feels like it's been three. Really? I don't know. I mean, I guess so, yeah. Dude, fucking college goes by really slow. Who's your favorite YouTuber? I don't really have one, to be honest. Shit, man. I cheesed that one. Fuck, dude. I fucked that up majorly. Alright, I'm gonna do one more run, then we'll get into some shit. Shit, bro. 
Come on. Dude, I want to beat my record. Which I don't know if it's going to happen this time, but hopefully. Come on. I think so. Yeah, definitely. Sick. Alright, cool. I carved off two fucking seconds, basically. <laughs> That's really fucking good. Alright, hell yeah, bro. I'm ranked 40 out of 168. Basically a pro. Uh, Dylan Watts with the five. Rank these fan bases from least toxic to most toxic. PC, Xbox, Nintendo, PlayStation. Um, probably PlayStation first, Xbox. No, I'd say PC second, Xbox third, Nintendo last. I'd say that's probably the order in terms of toxic to least toxic. Because there's some motherfuckers in PC gaming that are fucking losers. Like major fucking losers. All right, man, so let me back out of this. We will pull up YouTube and get going. Turn it on dark mode. Pawn Stars, five super rare illegal items. Oh my god. Illegal, bro. <laughs> Fucking illegal. I'm almost tempted to click it, but it'll get fucking copyright struck. Halo back. All right, we can take a look. So his last video he made was like him like really fucking depressed and shit. The dude was going through all the screenshots just going, yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess it looks all right. Okay. Yeah. Why is everyone getting $14 Vietnam capsule hotel? I don't know, man. Maybe for the hookers. Dude, like, you you aren't going to Vietnam on vacation unless you're trying to get your fucking dick sucked, man. Let's keep it 100. The Bachelor is back. Oh, my Stream God. Live on ABC with YouTube TV. The Bachelor. Good. I can't wait. Good grammar and... uploaded this like a day or two after we watched him on stream like acting really fucking depressed so maybe he was watching the stream i'm not sure kaijin 999 with the two did you see twitch's tweet about women yeah i saw it it's stupid i mean it's literally like when they had the tweet that said lgb whatever and the g stands for fucking gamers <laughs> like twitch literally just needs to shut the fuck up like nobody gives a flying fuck um whatever wait what the fuck where where did my fucking mind go bro like they just need to stop fucking virtue signaling no one gives a shit about their political opinion like everybody's just there to watch people play video games or look at a nice pair of tits man i mean that's literally the only reason why i watch lenity no i'm just kidding <laughs> dude twitch needs to insert it i don't know twitch equals amazon yeah i know that Amazon's pretty cancer, in my opinion. I don't like Amazon. Brand new. Brand new Halo Infinite screenshots. I haven't seen them yet, so this is going to be my live reaction. So Damn, bro. This is so fucking insane. So far, I've heard many people saying... Dude, his mic gain is so fucking loud. Jesus Christ. Like, it's literally, hold up, if I did this, this is bring Halo back's mic right now. 
Oh my god, guys, we're gonna take a look at this brand new trailer. Like, that's literally what he's fucking doing. That's really shit. Hold on, let me put it back. Uh, I'll put it there. But yeah, <laughs> that's basically what's happening. ...that these are absolute best-looking Halo game they've ever seen, and I am so excited to check this out. So... Let's not waste any time. Let's just hop right into it. So, we. Um, but, 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 but here we go. Inside, inside infinite. Oh, dude, look All at this right, webcam. We'll have... He has it tilted. Dude, his hair looks greasy as fuck. To come back and read all this later on, but. Holy shit. Yeah, my mic's gonna be loud, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Bro. Look at, look at that. It's a f <laughs> Dude, this man's hair. Holy shit. Fucking halo ring. You've never seen it look so good. It's a ring and it's halo. What, what more could you ask for? Bro. They out, they outdid them. They. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my, dude. 343. Three. You guys outdid yourselves with this one. I, I mean, the Warhog's nice. And the trees look great, but the grass. Oh god, look at that grass. And some, f and flowers. And skies. Oh my. Yeah, dude, he's making a parody of his own video because he got a bunch of shit on his previous video. So he's now, like, giving people what they want. I get. I don't... It's really... It's 300 IQ humor, man. Let's face it, we aren't gonna get it. You generation with the two is double chin is great. Yeah. He doesn't have the fucking quintuple chin like me. Soon. My jeez. And the, the rocks! The rocks! Look at the shadow on the rock! <laughs> Bro. Uh, man. I heard people talking highly of these screenshots, and I, I'm, I gotta be honest, I, I wasn't too sure going in, but holy shit, this exceeds my expect. Dude. The banished. That is oh a my banished struck, a banished structure. What the fuck are the banished? I have no fucking clue what that is, man. Like, what the fuck is the banished? Holy shit. <sighs> Holy shit. Oh, and the sky. They look. There's another sky. Holy shit. They're, they're killing it with the sky and the grass and the. all oh, the trees. Holy. Oh, Halo Wars 2? Yeah, no wonder. I don't give a shit about it. Dude, Halo Wars is fucking ass. Boring games. I only know them from the novels. Yeah, I'm not going to read a book. <laughs> um, D27 SHG with the 2. Banish or the Covenant, but cooler? All right. Yeah, I'm not, like, playing Halo Wars 2 or reading. Like, <laughs> bro, I'm not reading a book or playing an RTS to understand the story of a first person shooter. Um Scotty man with the 2, the banisher from Halo Wars 2. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, now RTS is not my thing and reading shit. video game novels not really my thing either. I can't afford this shit. Have I touched No Man's Sky lately? I've never touched it to begin with. No. I have not. <sighs> oh, fuck. Are you guys seeing this shit? Fuck, there's a... Is that... That's a... Dude, look at his fucking hair. Jesus Christ. The Stranger with the Two, it's so obvious he edits his own videos and he shouldn't. I know, dude. He's, like, doing all the, like, stereotypical, like, funny man shit. I, can't I don't this know. Shit. Big funny though, I guess. That's a fucking bird. That's a bird. 
Oh. Oh, there's another. That's an... I think that's another bird. Holy shit. <laughs> three, four, three. This looks so good. Oh, this looks so good. Oh. Oh, my. I, I don't know what to say. Oh, my. F yeah, I know. This is, like, so unfunny. It's fucking painful. Oh, my God damn, man. This is the best Halo game. The best game. For fucking soon. Oh. the halo it's the sniper guys oh oh my god oh my god it looks like, like a forerunner thing oh you see the water on the grass again they did the sky oh, oh god oh, oh my look god, at that look man. at that sniper man danger donkey with the two Doing these days, man whimpering like he's receiving the forsaken top. I know, dude. This dude needs a fucking haircut, pronto. It, it totally looks so much better than anything Bungie's ever done. Oh my god. Oh yeah. It totally doesn't look like the Halo Four and Five snipe with a different scope. Oh, that that looks so good. Oh, is that it? Oh. oh. Banshees. <laughs> it's so good. It's just so good. Oh my god. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. The fuck? <laughs> okay, it looks like all the screenshots, guys. I, I'm uh -huh, so uh -huh, uh -huh. right now. This is just so good. I mean. I've I've criticized the Heath 343 so much, but this makes up for everything. They knocked it out of the Dude, fucking Dude, he's really party. fucking pissed. He's pissed that he got fucking ratioed on this previous video. That's what this shit is. Great job, guys. Phenomenal fucking job. Damn, bro, what a great video. Look at that ratio, man. I mean, it's a lot better than the previous one. Uh, Randy Butternubs with the five. I believe this man has reached his climax. I think so, too, man. He's probably not even wearing pants, so he doesn't have to do a cleanup job later. Although, then he'd have to clean it up off the floor, so maybe he should wear pants. I don't know. They must have shadow dropped the screenshots. Yeah, like, look at this previous video on this shit. Like, look at the fucking like to dislike ratio. Man got fucking bodied. Like, really bad. Cody Wooden with the five. This guy is seriously cooming from these graphics. I mean, they're good, but not the second coming of Christ. No, it's ironic, man. Because, like, this is his original video he made where he was, like, saying, yeah, man, it looks like shit. I don't really care, man. It looks too much like Halo 5 and, like, a bunch of bullshit. He was complaining about it, so he got shit on in this video. So he decided to make this one, like, acting like everyone wanted him to, ironically. I don't know, it's <laughs> it's really fucking petty if you ask me, but yeah. It'd be like that. I don't know, man. Fucking bring Halo back. He had Tokyo Ghoul vibes. Yeah, I think he associates with that greatly. He has like a fucking Tokyo Ghoul skateboard, a fucking poster, like a painting. Scotty Man with the two. This guy's the new hippo. Maybe. I have no idea, man. That's a pretty big title to earn. Big Man Gamers. Let's see if he's uploaded anything. PC Fanboy Trash. CSGO Review. Let's see. Let's watch this shit, man. What up guys, Big Man Gamers here, back with another video. So guys, before we get into the video, oh, make I sure love to smash map. the like button. I'm pretty sure this is the gameplay footage from the video that um 
I made on him originally. Yeah, it is. There's my um, profile picture. So he took the gameplay from the original video I made on him, and he's using it in the background. That's pretty nice. Hit subscribe, share this video, all that good stuff. And I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. New animal. Mar the Hazard with the five. A sad hand job where the girl mashes it is more bearable than a Bring Halo Bag video. I'd have to agree, man. I'd have to fucking agree. Old. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Adult. Copy strike him. Nah, I ain't no bitch. Anyone tell you otherwise. So, with that said, guys, let's get into the video. So, guys, this is gonna be a review of CSGO, a PC fanboy game. A game with poor graphics, lackluster gameplay, and just loaded with microtransactions. Just like the PC fanboys like. That's right, man. I love my microtransactions. The stranger with the two, Hippo is the king, bring Halo back is just his jester. I'd have to agree with that, man. You know, Hippo Zoned is like, well, I mean, he's Hippo the god now, so he's truly ascended. PC fanboys just love this game and think it's one of the best games ever made. Why am I not surprised PC gamers love online FPS and battle royale games? What a surprise. So sad. So sad indeed. CSGO has some of the worst graphics I've ever <laughs> seen. The PC master community always brag about how more PC is better than console. Bro, this man needs a pop filter desperately. It's literally like... You can't really get the full effect from um, my mic because it already has one built in, but yeah. He needs that shit real bad. More PC, more PC gaming, more mouse and keyboard, more battle royale. Imagine playing on console. You only have 30 FPS. And now you see the games they play. They look like mobile phone games. That's his real voice right there. The fucking voice dropped for a second. You could hear it. And now you see the games they play. Right there. That's his real voice. That's his real fucking voice right there. Somebody needs to do like a fucking accent analysis on this motherfucker because I don't know what that is. Um, Randy Butternose with the two, is this what Goofy does in his free time now? I think so, man. I think so. You only have 30 FPS, and now you see the games they play. You hear it, like, right? What does that sound like, bro? I don't fucking know. I'm not, like, a linguistics expert. But that's the real fucking, um... <laughs> that's the real fucking voice. I don't know. Clipping and ship it. You only have 30 FPS. I can't afford this shit. And now you see the games they play. And maybe he's um. They look like mobile phone games. Maybe it's a like um, Hispanic accent kind of. I don't know, dude. That's that's kind of tough. It sounds Swedish, maybe. Panic, to be honest. I know somebody from um, college who was from, um, what country was it? I think Peru. He kind of sounded like that. No, not Hispanic? I don't know, man. I can hear it. I can't afford this shit! Imagine playing on console. You only have 30 FPS. And then you see the games they play. Yeah, I don't know, man. That gotta be a diss to Hispanics? Dude, his normal voice right there doesn't sound fucking weird. The dude's 100% putting on a accent on top of his existing accent. Eastern European, maybe. I don't fucking know, man. I Like, honestly, I have no fucking clue. Um, Let's see. So, LBox81 with the five. He sounds like he mastered the art of sucking and talking at the same time. I wish I could learn that. Sounds like a pretty handy life shit. skill, but I appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. Temp J with a five. I'm in this Discord group where this bitch isn't charged, and I'm not allowed to say the bundle of sticks word, and it's stupid. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, you can't... So the thing with Discord is you have to, like, actually monitor what people say, because your, your fucking server will get nuked. 
over like what one person will say, so I can see why. Raging Boar with the two, we found the real big man gamer boy. That's right, man. We fucking hashtag doxed him. You know, we found his true accent. This is exciting shit. Simpson with the 50. Appreciate it, bro. I would rather be tortured by Kim Jong-un than listen to this guy for 20 minutes. I don't know, man. Maybe this is the torture. So be careful what you ask for. This is probably the voice they use to radicalize the fucking ISIS members. They look like mobile phone games. They look like clones of PUBG Mobile. All the games PC fanboys are always bragging about all look like a cell phone game you download for free and then delete it after an hour. Pathetic. PC fanboys don't even play the games anyway. What they do is boot up their PC, go to the Epic Game Store, <laughs> launch Fortnite Madden. Oh, fuck, dude. I'm getting fucking exposed. I do launch Fortnite. Holy shit. Or FIFA. FIFA? Nah. I don't play FIFA. I'm not a fucking European piece of shit. Who likes soccer and beats his wife and wears a fucking gold chain. I'm not a FIFA player, bro. I promise. Pog Fortnite? Dude, the Chun-Li skin? Facts. Pathetic. Like, holy shit. Dude, I, I guarantee you, I'm not a fucking FIFA player, man. Pathetic. I know, dude. Bro, I'm European. Do you wear a wife beater, a gold chain, and play FIFA all day? If not, you're fine. That's the type of European I'm talking about. SSX Tricky was good. I don't know what that is. Mar the Hasm with the five. If this foo Hispanic, then Hispanic delegation will gladly trade him and claim the Menendez brothers instead. I don't, dude, I honestly have, I don't know what the fuck that accent is. I really wish I could not, like, figure it out. Scotty Man with the two, that Chun Li skin that gonna make me cheat on my girlfriend. Dude, that Chun Li skin had me downloading Fortnite to buy that shit, so. Mission accomplished. And buy loot boxes and microtransactions all day long. That's their idea of playing a game. That's what they do. That's all they ever do. PC fanboys just love their precious epic game store. <laughs> Bruh. I think it's the opposite, man. Griffin, go to his first video. He talks normally there. Oh, really? Dude, we'll have to check that shit out. They love buying games and loot boxes from there to give as much support to Epic Games and Tencent <laughs> as they possibly can. Bruh. PC fanboys think all games should be <laughs> online FPS. I mean, I'll give him credit, bro. This is... I can't afford this shit! <laughs> this shit is fucking funny. Like, er that's the thing, like, dude, people are in my comments, like, going, he's a fucking troll, stop responding to him, you're wasting your time, you're feeding the troll, it's like, bro, you don't fucking think I understand that this dude's fucking trolling? It's like, obviously, I'm just doing that shit because it's funny, man, I don't know, like, why does everything on YouTube has to be, like, fucking serious? But nah, people are like going, dude, he's a fucking troll. Stop responding to him. Stop giving him attention. Shut the fuck up. It's like, holy fuck, dude. Like, <laughs> I don't know what the fucking problem is, man. Why does it have to be fucking super serious? It's just funny. I'm a troll, to be fair. To an extent, I, I guess, yeah. I don't know. But... <laughs> it's like this dude like whenever i make a video on this guy people are like oh my god dude it's healthy bro they're capping dude just tell them it's part of the act they'll shut nah like dude that's the thing is it's like just probably like 20 people that fucking freak out and it's really just like i don't know man it's just really fucking stupid. A team with a two? Hi. Hello. How are you? Appreciate it, man. Temp J with a two. Dude, can we watch YouTube Horror, aka Life of Luxury? I have no fucking clue what that is. 
like none whatsoever. Griffin, it was lagging before though. No, it's not. Dude, I'm looking at the fucking stream health right now. Whenever there's actually like a problem, it tells me what happens. It's just probably your internet or YouTube. I don't fucking know. But nothing wrong with the stream. I have like a list of times. Like, look. You can see right here um, when the issue pops up. See? If there was an issue, it would be listed here. So no, there's been nothing. Nothing to worry about. Losers and battle royales, just like they play. And if PC gamers get their way, that is what all future games will be like for everyone. And that's gonna do it for this review, guys. Damn, Make sure to bro. smash the like button. Hit subscribe. I wanted it to be a longer video. What the fuck, man? Subscribe, enable notifications, all that good stuff. Big man gamers, out. I like the CSGO gameplay though, man. You should keep it. It's really fucking nice. I'm a fan, man. He should keep it up. Temp J with the two, you have to watch this one video from them. Which one is it? I've never heard of it before. Drew Bell with the five, watch his cyberpunk review to hear his real voice. All right. Let's check it out. Dude, I like the fucking CS Surf. He should keep it. Alright, so Cyberpunk. Let's hear what he actually sounds like, man. Let's hear. Where is it? Where the fuck is it? Hey, what's up guys? Big Man Gaming here. Today we're going to be reviewing 2020's by far most anticipated game, Cyberpunk 2077. Dude, what the fuck is this accent? But first, make sure you smash the like button, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe button. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the video. So today's the day, it's finally December 10th, and the game everyone and their grandma has been waiting for, but, oh my god, what a disaster, bugs, 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 glitches, 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 was this game made by Bethesda or something? This is probably the most glitch infested game I've ever played, and I've played Fallout 3, New Vegas, Fallout 4, and Fallout 76. The glitches consist of NPCs it and almost vehicles sounds British, randomly bro. appearing and disappearing, NPCs going into T-poses, clipping issues, and um, people's consoles freezing and even bricking. My copy on the PS4 was bad enough, but I can only imagine what it'll look like on lesser hardware, like Xbox or PC. <laughs> One of the major pauses. disappointments are the graphics. They look awful and nowhere near the fidelity that the trailers would have you believe. I'm going to have to call out CD Projekt Red for this one on false advertising for their trailers. Holy maybe, fuck. And that's a big maybe. Temp J with the two or sun can't stop growing. That's the video, please. How long? I'll look at it. I'll decide. If it's like really long, though, I don't know. I'll have to like see. If it's like more than five to ten minutes, then I don't know. The PS5 look version looks like that, but I haven't played the PS5 yet, so I can't comment. But on current hardware, the game looks like a launch PS3 game on an SD TV. Low resolution and poor textures with a muddy overall look, and it's very blurry. The story and quests are very boring and full of open world tropes, like fetch quests and busy work. It reminds Dude, I don't know what this fucking accent is, man. What we have the a fuck? bad Far Cry game. What is this shit, man? Also, while admittedly the game world is detailed, there is a distinct lack of interaction with the environment, Dutch? such as food stands and shops, are purely there for cosmetics only and cannot be interacted with. The character creation tool is in-depth and pretty cool. This does get old, however, once you've created your character. And <laughs> I've got to ask, in the first-person game... Mar the Hasman with the five? Thank God he ain't Hispanic. We still claim 
<laughs> the Menendez brothers, though? I mean, fair enough, man. I can't yeah, I, like, shit. literally, I don't know what this fucking accent is. Yeah, dude, you can hear him flipping the pages of a script. Shit. The original video that I responded to him on, you could hear the fucking pages turn. The stranger with the two speaking of Brickin, he sounds like he got hit with one, bruh. That's sad. R.I.P. Big Man Gamers. So Jesus Acasio with the two, he's using a script. You can hear him flipping pages. Yup. T. Carter with the two soy accent. I don't like this is some weird fucking accent, bro. I've never heard anyone talk like this. What is the point? They should have just stuck to third person like everyone wanted in the first place. See, like right there, it sounded almost British. Like, listen to that. They should have just stuck to third person like everyone. Like he goes like third person like everyone. Like, bro, that sounds fucking British. The first person game. What is the point? They should have just. Dude, the way he said fucking person sounded like a fucking British. I don't know, man. I don't know. Drew Bell with the two sounds similar to the guy on open world games. I don't know what that is. Temp J with the two. You can also watch the dog one. It's 10 minutes. I mean, we can watch some of it. We'll see how it goes, but I don't know if we'll watch the entire thing. 20 minutes is really fucking long. I can only guess that this was a decision made at the last minute to try and appeal to card players on Xbox. Dude, I don't know what the fuck this is. I don't know if it's Dutch. Also, the driving mechanics and gunplay are poor and unresponsive, leaving much to be desired. So it's looking like Cyberpunk 2077, as well as being the most... Screw up of 2020. It's definitely a product of its year. Too ambitious, unpolished, and rushed out due to fan pressure. CD Projekt Red really screwed up on this one. I think a more fitting name for this game would have been Cyberpunk 2076, like Fallout 76. So the good points are a detailed world and character customization system, and the bad are poor graphics lackluster gameplay and the buggiest most unfinished game since fallout 76 <laughs> i love these fucking pauses though in the middle thanks for watching again make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new around here this has been big man gaming I and i am out shit. Let's go to his very first video. Hey, Alien Isolation, do I have a few things to say about this game? But before we get into the video, make sure to smash the like button, leave a comment, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get into the video. Dude, what so the, the fuck? So the story begins with Amanda Ripley, the daughter of Ellen Ripley from the movie, traveling to a space station called the Sevastopol to find out what happened to her mother. But predictably, everything goes wrong, and there is a xenomorph on the station. <laughs> Irish? It was during this opening... Yeah, dude, I was saying British, bro. I don't know. ...scene where the first crack started the show. The frame rate was just god-awful during this cutscene. And I was playing on the PS4 version, so God knows how bad the other versions must look. While the game does have good graphics, specifically the lining effects, it had poor AI and suffers from slow, clunky, laggy gameplay. The game Dude, is I don't tense know. and scary, but for all the wrong <laughs> reasons. <laughs> like, the more he fucking talks, the less certain I am. What the fuck, dude? More the husband with the five for a guy whose channel is called Big Man. He is one of the least manly voices I've heard. Yeah. I mean, that may be the irony behind it. I have no fucking clue, man. All I know is he puts out some fucking banger-ass content. That's for sure. 
the gameplay consists of trying to hide from the alien. But no matter what you do, wherever you hide, the alien just comes straight up to where you're hiding and insta-kills you, forcing you to watch the same long, drawn-out death animations over and over and over again. Nah, dude. British people don't get braces. That's not possible. This not only results in an experience that is incredibly frustrating, but fundamentally broken. The core gameplay is not only flawed, but the game itself is glitchy as all hell. You can't get weapons and tools to help you fight off the xenomorph. Yeah, dude, that's what I was saying. I thought he kind of had a Hispanic accent a little bit. I don't know. English is definitely not his native language, I feel like. I, like then again, I don't fucking know. <laughs> like, it's really weird. Like, sometimes he sounds fucking British. Ah, dude, it's like, this is like a fucking mystery, man. I should hire, like, a fucking linguistic expert to tell me what this fucking, <laughs> this fucking accent is. Because somebody could probably listen to this and be like, oh, yeah, I know what this is. Martha has one with the five. I cracked it. This fool's a genius. He speaks in four separate accents at once. To conceal his true identity? Maybe, man. I have no fucking clue. Such as flares, guns, lures, and a motion tracker. But half the time, these don't do anything, and you get killed anyway. Bro, I'm not saying Hispanics talk like this. I'm saying that when he has his, like, moments of fucking clarity, if you want to call it, where the accent is missing that he's, like, pretending to have, he sounded kind of Hispanic. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying, like... Him talking, like, all during this video is what a fucking Mexican dude sounds like. That's not what I'm fucking saying. I'm saying that when, you know, he has, like, his moments of clarity, it kind of sounds like that. And the gun does absolutely no damage, even though they do in the movies. Later on in the game, you do get access to a flamethrower. But when you use it, the alien runs away, but just keeps coming back. Adding to the frustration, you have to manually save, and save points are few and far between. Meaning, when you die, you have to go back really Dude, I'm far. gonna need to get some fucking water in a second. Apart from the alien, there are other enemies in the game, including hostile humans and working Joe androids, which are not as bad as the alien. At least it's possible to kill I'm gonna them, get some water but they can quick. still be very frustrating. Now he kind of sounds Asian, bro. What the fuck? Dude, he's from Narnia. Yeah, that would fucking settle it, man. As a Hispanic, I can't confirm I do sound like that. Dude, I don't fucking know. Like, he almost sounded Asian right there. Like, bruh. And you do meet some friendly human characters along the way, but they are stiff, wooden animations with characters not interacting with the player or environment. It also features hacking minigames, I'll be back in like which 30 are boring seconds. and go pointless, some water. and only serve as a shallow attempt to mix up the gameplay. It seems as though they were inspired by Dead Space, but only went as far as to combine all the worst parts of that game into one. Go here, fix this. Go there, fix that. Over and over and over again, for the entirety of the game. The game just feels like a cheap cash-in on people's nostalgia. I can honestly say Aliens, Clone, and Marines is a better He's game. He's in his own and species? I guess so, man. And I to don't... sum up this review, the good points about the game are it has good graphics there and he looks like Australian. the first movie with a tense, dark, foreboding atmosphere, just like the 1979 classic. And the bad points are that the game is far too difficult and you'll find yourself just getting killed over and over again. The game is glitchy as hell and broken at a fundamental level. Every area of every level looks just the same. Dude, I don't know. I really don't fucking know. The game is boring. The game suffers from poor performance. Okay guys, I just want to say a big thank you for watching the video. Make sure to comment, smash the like button, and subscribe to the channel. This has been Big Man Gamers, and I am out. Alright. Does he have any social medias? No. What the fuck, dude? No. Oh, shit. I've got an idea. Hold on. Yo, I just realized I can do this shit. One second. I can't afford this 
sometimes YouTube with vidIQ will tell you the uploader's country. Oh, shit, I don't want to put it in there. Let me see if this works. So, videos. Let me click on one. Let's see where the uploader's country is. Sometimes they'll do this. I don't think it has... Fuck, dude. It doesn't have it on there. Maybe Social Blade will have it. Since it's private? What do you mean it's private? Dude, what the... This is like a fucking mystery, man. I don't know. <laughs> like... Bro, the fucking mystery of big man gamers fucking accent. Ergonomic chair with the two. He's Indian. It says it in his profile. Jeez, Griff. Yeah, no, I don't see it in his profile. Nowhere does it say fucking India. Dude, I don't fucking know. Randy Butternums with the two compare to Grimdark narrator. Yo, let's see. Fuck. Rare dead stuff. Battles and campaigns of Warhammer 40k. Today we arrive at episode number seven from the kind of mechanized campaign known as yeah, the Yeah, like you can War. kind of, I could see that kind of. Yeah, it's pretty similar. But I don't know if it's like exactly... Previously, we were on the edges of our... It's it's almost like... I don't know. Yes and no. I have no fucking clue, to be honest, man. Jordan with the two. It's a Greek accent. Dude, at this point, this motherfucker this could be anyone. I have no idea. Like, <laughs> this dude could live in fucking Antarctica. We have no fucking clue, man. Slavic accent of some kind? Maybe. The stranger with the two. Indian is literally the only accent you can't hear. XD. Wait, <laughs> what? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Indi Indian's like, I wouldn't even like compare that. I mean, bro, unless you're talking like, hey, Darman fam, because Darman's fucking Indian. But, um, no, I don't think so. Dude. Indian, definitely not. Middle Eastern, definitely not. Asian, I would say no. I don't think Asian. Uh, it's like. Uh, dude, it's like, it's really fucking tough. American. Darman made a new video. Not surprising, man. He's got to keep milking. Like, this is really tough. Drew Bell with the five Social Blade had the turkey flag. Yo, if Social Blade has the info up, then that's typically correct. Let me see. Um, Big Man Gamers. No, that's not it. Um, Big Man. Put a space in front of it. Social Blade search is weird. Yeah, this isn't his channel. Big man. Let me get his just URL. Because it's going to be much quicker. Alright, hold on. It's going through. Let's see. Yeah, this dude's subscribers are set to private. You can't see it. Dude, it, this is like a fucking mystery. <laughs> Where the fuck do you live? Give us your address. Nah, the turkey flag on Big Man Gaming was a completely different account. Because I typed in his um actual like channel ID up here and nothing came up. I don't know, man. This is fucking tough.
Let's just see. Top 10 exclusives. What's up, guys? Big Man Gaming here. Before we start, don't forget to smash the like button, leave a comment, share this video with your friends, and hit the subscribe button as it really helps out the channel. Now. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Get Keemstar to dox him? Maybe. Does he have a Discord? No. Dude, he literally has nothing linked. He doesn't do anything, man. He's like completely fucking anonymous. Big Man Gamer is just like f the fucking anonymous of YouTube. I don't know, man. This is tough. This is very fucking tough. I want to get to the... Like, honestly, I want to figure this shit out, but... Maybe there's a discussion. No. <laughs> Go to like his fuck, ah, dude. I don't even know. Like, where is this dude's fucking accent from? This would be a good video to respond to. That's a very easy, low effort video I can make. Um, he's 4chan. Let's forget about it, dude. I can't forget about it. This is like one of the most exciting things to happen all fucking week. Ah, uh, let's see. So, Mar the Hasman with the five. Big Man Gaming confirmed Manchurian candidate. He sounds like anyone and everyone. Dude, this guy could run for office in every single fucking country on planet Earth. Check Discord uploaded screenshot. Like, in general? Where'd you put it? Where'd you put the screenshot, man? I don't see it. I can't afford this shit! I don't see a screenshot. What is your name on Discord? Yeah, smoke show. I don't see it. In general? Send it again. Because I don't see it. I do not see it, bro. It's a screenshot of the wrong big man gaming. Yeah, that's that's the wrong channel. That's a completely different channel. Dude, the fucking mystery. <laughs> the fucking mystery, bro. Yeah, no, that's that's the wrong channel. It's a completely different profile picture and everything. Like, if you go to his about page, it's completely different. Yeah, dude, like, this guy's like a fucking ghost. <laughs> what the fuck, man? This is kind of like... This is fun. I don't know. Oh, pay him a hundred bucks to tell you? I'm almost tempted. Maybe worthwhile. Shit, man. I think he's southern and on the... Sp Bro, he does not have a southern accent. What the fuck? The stranger with the two? Gotta call out the hacking genius hippo zone? That's right. Dude, hippo needs to um hack into his YouTube account <laughs> and make his sub count... Where the fuck you're getting Southern from? Southern Europe? Eh, I don't know. Dude, it's a mystery. <laughs> I mean, this screams Greek to me. This image right here, because I know a bunch of Greek people in a middle school, and, like, literally all of them acted like this shit. Like, always fucking shirt off, <laughs> which sounds really fucking stereotypical. But dead ass, man, the fucking Greeks, they would probably prefer to look like this. Bulgaria, YouTube Unsolved, bro, this is like a fucking mystery. Who is Big Man Gamers, and who the fuck did he rape? <laughs> what the fuck? A man with no name? No fucking distinguishable accent? I don't, dude, it's like, it's... It's pretty crazy. I don't know. I like literally I don't fucking know what to do, man. <laughs> I thought we would get some fucking answers here. Imagine he came from Greenland. Bro, he's gonna be like from the fucking North Pole or some shit. It'll be like Santa's elf. I 
I have no fucking clue, man. But we'll take a video or a look at this video, um, Temp J, real quick. I'm not like promising we're gonna watch all of this because it's long as shit, but we can watch some of it. Unless it's like really good and people are interested, but Only pay for what you a need couple minutes in, I'll it. I'll gauge the audience and see the opinion, because I don't want to watch shit that nobody cares about. But yeah, we'll check Excuse it out. Me. Excuse me. What? What Dude, if this woman's having problems with her son, they should be going to therapy. It's just those bones. They don't fit into the skin anymore. Dude, go! Go! Dude, what the hell is this? Oh, uh, is this like one of those like fake haunted ass house channels or whatever? Like the ghost finding shit? Hello, Lux Army. Let's hit 100,000 likes for more new episodes. So for this episode, we received an email from a woman named Candace, a 53-year-old mother who believes there's something horribly wrong. Why does everyone on this fucking platform talk like chills, bro? First, Darman. What's up, Darman fam? I hope you like this message. And this dude's like literally going, something horribly wrong with my son. Dude, what the fuck? With her son. Candace says her son. <laughs> like everybody's everybody's a fucking chills ripoff these days. Talk to her anymore, and it seems like he cannot stop growing to the point where Dude, he literally sounds like fucking Darman. Where he can barely fit in his clothes. She says he's been pulling out his hair and won't let her see his face. She sent us Dude, he literally fucking does sound like Darman. Like this could be Darman's younger brother. Dude, yeah, Chills is like the start of a fucking era on YouTube. This video for proof. Tommy. Is she bringing him fucking dog food? I brought you your dinner. Do you want it, sweetie? <laughs> so tonight. The fuck? Jesus Christ. We've decided to head out to her house and see what's happening with her son when she's not watching him. Let's go. So what do you think's going on with this lady's son? I really don't understand the problem. Okay, so from what she said in the email, her son's been growing super fast. Dude, this is so much like fucking Darman. Fast for some reason, and acting really creepy towards her. Dude, that doesn't make any sense. How do we know he's not just hitting a growth spurt or something? I don't think this. I don't lady watch this type of YouTube shit to be honest. Normal growth spurt. Dude, if this woman's having problems with her son, they should be going to therapy. Like Typically, if somebody has over a hundred k subs, I usually don't watch them. Like, if I'm being honest. So, yeah, I've never seen this fucking channel before. Let's just get there and see what we're dealing with, okay? Okay, fine. Your destination Wait, right here, right here. Right. This is it, bro. Okay, I'll pull over. Something seems really wrong here, dude. The windows are all dark. Dude, I don't know if I want to meet these people. This could just be like a waste of time. Well, at the very least, let's just go in and meet Candace and try to talk to her son, okay? Okay. All right, let's uh, knock on her door. Is this Star Man? I think it's his brother, man. This is like his brother. Hi, Candace, right? Yeah. Hi, uh, you email us about your son? Dude, why the fuck are they just, like, shoving a camera in her face the second she opens a fucking door, man? I'd be sketched out, too. Told you we were coming tonight? Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a kid's channel. Uh, we can come in, right? No. Dude, why the fuck does it look like she's coked out? Dude, like, it looks like she's coming off like some fucking coke or some shit. Candace, is your son home right now? He's always home. He's resting. Uh, okay, uh, let's just sit down and talk with you, okay? Oh my god. Come on, let's sit down and talk. 
Okay, Candice, thank you for uh, letting us sit down with you. Uh, can you give us more details about what's going on with your son? My son, it's my fault. I should have done something sooner. Uh, so you told us in the email you sent us that, you know, he's been acting really strange. Can you go into that more? He's, he's still my boy. He, he just doesn't talk to me anymore. Uh-oh. I mean, I can see you're very concerned about him, which is, you know, a good thing. But when did all this start happening with him? After Michael passed. Michael was your husband? Dude, is it fucking Michael from shit. GTA? What the fuck, man? Dude, Michael from GTA, he had a son who got, like, really big bones or some shit? I don't know. Dar man, if he did horror? Exactly. I mean, if you can call this horror. Mar the husband with the five. This is just a case of her son, her son smoking that broken glass. Should have attended those dare programs. Sorry, man, he hit up Walter White too many fucking times. Acting is below Darman's videos. Yeah, dude, the Darman actors are pros. <clears throat> Tommy ran into the woods. He was gone for about three days. I almost called the police. But eventually, one night, he came back into his room through his window. Oh, my God. The window? Why didn't he come through the front door? I don't know. He just completely shut down. And now he wears this strange mask. It's just... Oh my god. Well, you Her son's Jesse Pinkman. Damn. Are you sure this isn't like some type of grieving? <clears throat> no, this isn't grieving. It's physical too. What do you mean by that? It's just those bones. They don't fit into the skin anymore. <laughs> I mean, I Bruh. He's my whole world, but this isn't my Tommy. Okay, Candace, uh, is it okay if Chester and I uh, go talk to Tommy now? Uh, yeah, but dude, he's been pulling out his hair lately. Okay. Stream eighty-five plus. He's been plus pulling channels out of his TV. hair. Download the DVR, YouTube TV. The Try it free. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Just don't say anything. I think he's self-conscious of it. Okay, where's uh, his room? It's upstairs. Mm -hmm. Damn, bro, it's fucking upstairs. Who would have guessed? Okay, all right, cool. Yeah, they they just don't pay their fucking electric bill in this house. Okay, let's go talk to Tommy. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh my god, dude! Don't open Tommy. the door! Don't open the door! I'm gonna open the door. Oh my god, don't do it. Oh my god. Hi, Tommy. Uh, my name is Parker. I'm <laughs> friends with your mom. Um, what the fuck, bro? To talk to you to make sure you're okay. Little Penny Pocket. Little Penny Pocket. Are you feeling alright? Oh my god, your mom's, bro. I've uh, been worried about the way you've been acting. Oh my god. Tommy? Do you think Dude, when's the jump stare going to come? Um Castix 2018 with the two? Her son be hippo zone? Maybe, man. Who knows? Dude, this is so fucking spooky. Talk face to face. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. This is so fucking spooky. <laughs> what the fuck? Man? They had to cut it halfway through the turn so the dude could fucking turn around. <laughs> Bruh. Dude, we should go. We gotta go now. Okay, Tommy. Uh, if you want to talk more, Chester and I will be <laughs> here all night. Dude, I gotta talk to you. Dude, he should play basketball. <laughs> Dude, did you see his face? What was that? I, I don't know. I think that's his mask. Why is he wearing a mask? I have no idea. COVID, motherfucker. He's social distancing unlike you, you irresponsible piece of shit. Looks like my teacher. Damn, bro. That's pretty hot. Yeah, it, 
it could be some sort of grieving thing after his dad passed. How could that be a grieving thing? Dude, I don't know. I mean, we came here to set up camp. Why is he wearing his sunglasses, man? He's just trying to look. <laughs> He's got that drip, man. The fucking Ray-Bans drip. Martha has him with the five that moment when you realize Optimus would hit on Tommy before he would hit on a girl. Damn, bro. You hate to see it. Bro, why aren't we wearing masks? Dude, I don't fucking... Who gives a shit? How old is this, though? It's probably like a year is too old. No, it's this previous year. I don't fucking know. Who cares? I'm not going to get on people for not wearing a mask because I fucking wouldn't either. So I don't really give a shit. Cameras. So why don't we just start setting them up? Dude, I'm afraid to see what this guy even does at night. Bro, let's just set the cameras. Okay. That's good. Come on. I can't afford this shit! Oh, dude, it smells so bad in here. Okay, I gotta hide this thing. Yo, what's this? Dude, there's like some sort of like meat or something here. Dude, don't don't mess with that. Why is it? <laughs> what the fuck? Ew, bro, why would you put your fucking hand in that shit? What is that? Dude, don't. Ew. Dude, why is he getting like a fucking fistful? <laughs> Yeah, let me grab a fucking handful of this black fucking sludge. Don't mess with that. Huh. Huh. Dude, what's the problem? Dude, just moved. Huh? The meat just moved, bro. What are you talking about? Let's just go. I set the camera. Okay. Okay, let's put camera in Candace's room. Is she gonna be fucking naked, man? Hi. Uh, Candace, can we put a camera in your room? <laughs> yeah, we want to watch you, you know, finger yourself tonight. Okay, that's good. Okay, Candace. Bro, that GoPro would probably last for 20 minutes. Candace, so uh, we set up cameras all over your house, and we put one in Tommy's room, too. Oh, uh, why? Um, well, he doesn't know. Oh, you can probably find a GoPro pretty fucking easy. I just don't want to make him angry. <laughs> I just want my old Tommy back. <laughs> okay, Candace, Chester and I are going to do our best. Bro, if Tommy can't stop growing, does that mean he has like a fucking 14 inch dick? But, uh, we need to see how your son acts at night first. Candace, listen. It's alright, okay? Chester and I are gonna do the best we can. Chester and I are gonna be sleeping in your guest room tonight. Okay. Okay, you ready? Let's go to sleep. Okay. Okay, good night. Bro, when we were talking to Tommy, I got a really bad feeling. Did you see the way that he looked at us? Dude, I know it was creepy, but we really don't know what he might be going through. I just feel like he doesn't want us in this house. Yeah, dude, we got to think about his mental health. Bro, I don't feel safe sleeping here. Yeah, and neither does Candace, and that's her own son. That's why we're here. Dude, let's just go to sleep, okay? We'll watch your footage in the <laughs> Yeah, get in bed, bro. Come on. Why the fuck are we waiting? Let's get these sheets nice and warmed up. Okay. Yeah, why the fuck would you sleep? I'll just wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> what the fuck are these rooms, bro? There's literally nothing in them. Tommy's trying to fucking rub one out, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? It looks like he's beating off. 
Dude, they're fucking spying on Tommy as he's trying to fucking spank himself. What the fuck, man? He's trying to squeeze one out before bed. What the fuck, man? This is so fucking cringe. T. Carter with the two? What the fuck is this? Some shitty YouTube horror movie. I have no fucking idea. Bro, the man's fucking feet just shoot out of the bottom. He's eating his fucking meat, bro. <laughs> I can't afford this shit! Oh my god, dude. Yeah, dude, it's the fucking Slender Man. What the f- Dude, this is so fucking gay. <laughs> oh my god. Triple X Nutty with the five. How would you rate this porno? Well, considering he's about to rape her or something. Hopefully it's gonna get good. Did he, like, just kill her? Yep. He's sucking her dry, man. Fuck. I can't afford this shit! Oh my god, man. This is so spooky. <laughs> okay, so it's about 7 a.m. right now. We just woke up. Yeah, bro, he like infested her or whatever. Her eyes were glowing too. Woke up. Dude, did you hear anything last night? No, I slept like a baby. Why? I don't know, maybe I had a weird dream. Okay, well, can you go wake up Candace? I'll go set up the footage so we can watch it. All right, I'll go wake up. Okay. Candace, it's time to wake up. I'm coming in. Uh, hello? Candace. I can't afford this shit! <gasps> oh my god, dude. He sucked out her fucking I spinal fluid. Um, unknown with the five? Is that Corey Taylor? Your guess is as good as mine. I have no fucking clue. Randy Butternose of the two, nothing a bullet won't fix? Exactly. Just bring out the fucking mini Uzi, bro. Are, are you okay? What? Tommy? No, it's Chester. Uh, we need to get up. It's, it's morning. Oh. oh my god. My leg's high. Parker! Parker! What's the problem? Dude! Candace, what, what's wrong? Her She's right paralyzed. Oh my god. Candace, are you There's okay? something wrong with her, dude. There's this black mark on her back. Are you okay? I don't know. I'm fine. I can't afford okay, let's, this let's get you up, okay? Yeah, he quite literally blew out her back, bro. T. Carter with a two. Cringe, cringe. Yeah. Sam the Madman with a two. He's a Redditor? I guess so. I mean, I could see why kids would probably like this shit, but god damn. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this is better than like any of the shit on Cartoon Network, to be fair. Mar the Hazen with the two. I don't remember this Slipknot video, <laughs> oh, bruh. Manny Team with the two. Black Blood. 
Dude, it's that's what it is. It's not um, blood because he was like eating the black shit off of his fucking plate in his room. So we don't know what it is. T. Carter with the two when your legs don't work like they used to before. I know, man. She needs like a fucking um, what's that shit called? Like the hover rounds, <laughs> like the little fucking scooters. She's like paralyzed or some shit now. I don't know. Okay. Bro, what's wrong with her? Dude, Tic Tacs? Yum. Got my Tic Tacs as well. So I can OD like in the fucking Darman video, bro. I can just pop some Tic Tacs, fucking OD. Okay, so let's look at this footage from last night. Okay, so it looks like Tommy wasn't sleeping much at all. He's very active at night. Go to the part where he's jerking off. Oh my god. He's going into my room. <laughs> oh my god. What's he doing to you? I don't know. What's wrong with my son? He's hitting you with that premium suck. Is that why you can't walk? That's your spine. I don't know what's going on. Candace, look what he did to you. This isn't normal. We need to call the police. No, no, no. But Candace. Yeah, he only sucked out my spinal fluid. Why the fuck would I call the fucking cops, man? They won't understand Tommy. Okay, well, if you don't want to call the police, Chester and I need to go talk to him right now. No, he rests at this time. Yo, we gotta talk now, bro. Okay, let's go. <laughs> bro, what the hell yeah, bro, just watch? get the fucking shotgun and pump that motherfucker with the 12 gauge. Who gives a shit? Why doesn't she want to call the police? Dude. Dylan Jewel with the two, the forbidden suck, bro. That's the forsaken top that, you know, Optimus was looking for all these years. Fucking mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, now she has fucking malaria. Did you see the way he was walking? I think he grew more last night. We gotta get out of here. Well, now it's more clear than ever. That I this can't afford this out. shit. We definitely need to stay here one more night. Bro, come on. We're I staying. Can't afford this we don't shit. have a choice. Okay. Okay, Candace. So, uh, we saw some pretty awful things last night. I, I really just don't want him to come in here again tonight. I mean, I don't know what to do here. I Are do. you sure we can't just call the police? No, no. Tommy hit me with that premium zuck, bro. I want to feel it in my legs. Actually, I don't. That's kind of the point. I'd totally watch a version of this with Mandy Flores. Who's that? Hitsu Gania Leon with the five? This is like calling Dame to Cosita at 3 a.m. I don't know what that is, but I'm guessing it's probably like another horror movie on YouTube or some shit. Ah, uh, let's see. Special Force 117 with the two. When lockdown gets so boring, you watch horror videos? Yeah. Dude, I know. They were trying to roast Bobby or fucking Tommy or whatever his fucking name is for wearing his mask, bro. Who is Mandy Flores? No, they won't look her up. Okay, uh, well listen, how about we put this chair here against your door handle in case he tries to get in again. There's no way he's going to be able to get through this. Okay, so we're all set now. <laughs> Stranger with the two, bruh, necked his mom. Gotta be in Alabama? Maybe. You never know. Well, South Carolina has higher incest rates than Alabama, so maybe it was there. Um... Devastator 2000 with the five Griffin. Is this supposed to be a horror or comedy? I think it's whatever you want it to be, man. I think it's whoever, whatever you want it to be. Who is Mandy Flores? I have no idea. Dude, no. South Carolina has a higher incest rate than Alabama. You can look it up. If he tries to come in again, Chester and I are going to be right in the other room. Try to get some sleep, okay? We'll watch it for just in the morning. I can't afford this shit! Really all in my I understand that, but right now we need to worry about you too. Okay, try to get some sleep, all right? We'll talk in the morning. Okay, good night. Bro, you can't tell me you feel safe sleeping here tonight. What if he comes into our room? 
all right, look, obviously I'm not comfortable with this, but what are the other options? <laughs> we can fucking leave. We can leave. Thank you. Dude, let's just record tonight to see what this guy's doing. It's definitely too unsafe to leave Candace alone. All right, but the second I hear anything, I'm leaving. Okay, whatever. Let's just go to bed. Okay, what? Come on, dude. Let's go to bed. Whatever. What the fuck is that, bro? Is that actually supposed to keep him out? If he just pushes on the fucking door, it'll scoot back. Oh my god, dude. The fucking Slender Man. Holy shit. Dude, I just pissed myself. Oh my god. <laughs> fucking spooky, bro. Mar the has been with the two. He really wants to go to bed with the homie. That's right, man. He wants to keep him warm all night. Yeah, dude, you could see that coming a fucking mile away. It started blinking. T. Carter with the five. Imagine if he held an air pick in her ear, a la Akbar. Damn, that's a reason to be afraid. Special Force 117 with a 2. Paranormal Activity Remake. This is fucking cringe, man. Dude, watch fucking Tommy just become a fucking jihadi. Who knows, man? He could be a fucking ISIS member. <laughs> Why is he trying to wake everyone up? What the fuck? The gaming king with the two jump scares are the weakest way to get a scary. I agree. Like, why is he going to wake everyone fucking up, dude? I thought he's trying to suck her. <laughs> what the fuck, man? He had to put on his fucking sunglasses, bro. What the fuck? Yo, we got Jesus Christ, man. Dude, something's breaking. What? Something's breaking, bro. Whoa, what do you think happened, bro? Come on. Dude, Get the fucking gun. Yeah, yeah, let's go. How big is this fucking house? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. No with the five, try turning the handle. Yeah. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, the window. 
Is this your shirt? Where'd she go? Bro. I, I think she went out the window. I think, we, I think we gotta get out of here, dude. Dude, did that guy take her? Dude, I do not want to be here anymore. No, dude, he was just dragging her across the fucking floor for no reason. We gotta go now. Dude, we, we gotta find her. I, we don't, we gotta worry about ourselves. Dude, you saw that thing take her. We need to find her, bro. Let's go. We gotta call someone. Dude, he's gone. Bro, we need to call someone. We never found them. <gasps> oh my god, dude, they died a year ago. What a fucking twist, man. Holy shit. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Let's try that was the most anticlimactic bullshit. Most unsatisfying ending to anything, bro. You have 18 to fucking 19 minutes of lead up with no fucking payoff. What the fuck, dude? Like, they... That was, like, worthless. They didn't even need to fucking happen. It's like it never even happened. I mean, at least they got some good footage, you know, if it was actually real, but it's not. It's a shitty YouTube video. Yeah, it's anticlimactic, bro. Like, there's nothing that fucking happened at the end. Wow, dude. They were already dead. What is this, a fucking Bruce Willis movie, bro? He was dead the whole fucking time? Yeah, anticlimactic, bro. This is like Darman. Literally. Just match 100,000 likes for the next episode to be released. And thank you guys for three points. Oh my god, dude. The next episode? Dude, at least the Darman videos have a fucking conclusion. <laughs> this is fucking trash. I don't know, man. The Manny team with the two. The awful ending? Yeah, dude. Like, the ending fucking sucked. There's no payoff. Dude, that's like a fucking cock tease. I don't know, man. Animes have better fucking endings than this shit. Dude, Darman just spoiled me. Darman ruined my expectations for what a YouTube cinematic universe could become. You know, Darman just truly set the example for true quality content on this platform. There better be a sequel. We can take a look. 1.2 million subscribers. Let's try to smash 3.5 million subs next. The video is over now, so you don't need. To if the guy has. Let's see. No, dude. It takes them four months to upload a video. How? Dude, you could make one of these every two days. What the fuck? We found him in her basement. Why the fuck does it take them so long to put out a video, man? There shouldn't be like four months in between. Is this Research like the same shit? I don't know. So here's an I just want to see if this is a continuation. Your home four fucking months to make is a 20 minute a video? No, it's not the same thing. Life of luxury episode to be released and they so I guess they wait until they get 100k views. So that's why it takes so long. <laughs> Bruh. The Gaming King with the two, you should watch me, Canyon. You'd probably like. I mean, that's the thing. I don't want to like watch like good content. Like You can just go watch that on your own. I don't really feel like I'm going to add anything to that. HTM with a five. Have you I heard of China shit. Chase? If not, look her up. Her body is fucked. <laughs> Bruh. I have not, but I will. Dude, I don't fucking know. That was... I'm, like, really disappointed. That was really fucking disappointing, to be honest. I was expecting so much more from the ending. Like, bro, it's like I watched a fucking anime. Like, literally, it starts getting good, and then the fucking season ends, and there's never another episode. And it's like, dude, that's part of the reason why I stopped watching anime. Because, like, there's no fucking ending. Um...
scuffed with the 10, what kind of music do you listen to? Mainly rap, but it just depends, man. Like, I listen to a lot of different genres, but I'd say, like, shit. rap primarily. Also, love the content and live streams are always top tier content. Appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. It would have been a better without the ending. I don't even know, dude. Like, they should have fucking killed it. Like, somebody should have brought a fucking gun and shot the fucker. Nah, Griffin, I gotta see your reaction to me, Canyon. I've seen it before, man. I've watched it. I, like, don't feel like I need to watch it. I mean, I can watch one. That's fine. Hopefully it's not age-restricted, because I'm not gonna watch those. Some of them are. All right, which one? Tom Brady wins the Super Bowl. I've seen all of this shit before. Watch the Tom Brady one. All right. Age restricted. Nah, that's just a pending strike. I'm not a big channel. Um, what other one? I, like, I'm not doing age-restricted shit. Because... Kitty. Alright, that's not age-restricted. Yeah, age-restricted shit will get you fucking nuked, so just... If you ever are doing YouTube and a video gets age-restricted, it's better just to delete it. I'm just telling you. Unless you're, like, a really fucking big channel. Contributor to my OnlyFans. You really are my favorite kitty. Hello, princess. Is daddy's angel being a good girl tonight? Sorry. I just keep hearing things. God, you make me so hot. Is he gonna rape her? Make me act up like an old thirsty hound dog. <laughs> Something's definitely in my room. Don't pay attention to the closet. There's nothing in there. How did you know that I was looking at my closet? T. Carter with the five. She turns around and opens her eyes, and he's standing right in front of her face, and he says, Hey, V. Sauce Michael here? I mean, that would have been a more satisfying ending, bro. Scream for me! I pay good money, so scream for me. Like Pocahontas screaming for her white god, John Smith. Pure ecstasy. I think someone... I said scream your beautiful song! Just around the riverbed! Uh -huh. Oh my god, there is someone in my closet! Dude, why the fuck would you sub to someone's OnlyFans who has, like, really short hair? Typically, they're not even hot. Here, in there! There's no one in there. It's probably just a ghost. Are you saying my house is haunted? Fart in your panties and throw them by your closet. Ugh. I don't think I have to fart. Uh, shit your pants and throw them by your closet. It'll scare away any spooky ghost. I don't have to shit! Just toss the panties! Fine. Kitty, are you in my closet? No way, baby. I'm so far away right now. I know you're in there. Get out of my closet. Oh my god. K Kitty? Hello. Boo. Get the fuck out of uh, here! Okay, okay. Are we still on for our call next week, or...? Get so, Randy Butternose of the two, what in Darman's name? Uh, some, like, animation channel, man. Out of here! Okay, all right. To the spoils go the victor. Hello? I want you to fart in your hand and eat it like a sandwich.
So I've learned that not everything we can makes this funny. Yeah, this is kind of weak, man. I don't know. Yeah, that one was kind of... Shit. Yeah. Darman? Why? Bro, we watched Darman last night. I don't know. Watch Morgs? Why the fuck would we watch Morgs, dude? Morgs is like a one-way ticket to fucking blow your brains out. Dude, fucking Morgs makes you just want to fucking kill yourself. Like, you want to talk about bad fucking acting. Oh, shit. Yeah, that video wasn't even disturbing, though, man. It was just kind of cringe, to be honest. It was just kind of cringe. I mean, we can do the tip. Oh, wait, dude. Actually, I did. I did. There was a video I want to watch. Hold up. I want to watch the fucking Fortnite shit from Dreamcast Guy. That's very short. What if gamers Dreamcast Guy here? <laughs> Cause, to wait, fuck. I wanted to read the title. Gamers are mad that Epic Games just bought Fall Guys. All right, man. <laughs> I just want to see this shit. I want to see the fucking gamers are mad. Dude, does anyone actually give a shit about Fall Guys anymore? Like, dead ass question. Like, do people actually give a shit about fucking Fall Guys? <laughs> no 10 sec- Bro, what the fuck? There was no intro. What if Gamer's Dreamcast guy here talking today about the latest news to seem to make the entire internet angry, which is the fact that- What the f- Dude, he forgot, forgot to put it. Mediatronic has just been purchased by Epic Games, which means that legally, Fall Guys is owned by Fortnite. Now- <laughs> dude i like the way you put that i don't know man i think dreamcast guys content overall as of late has been improving a lot i don't know if it's just me but personally i think he's been getting a lot better on the surface this doesn't seem like the craziest news ever but i want to try and break down why this is actually bad for business now let's start things off with just the brutal facts, which is the fact that here All it is, guys is fucking huge dead. news, Mediatronic is being announced that we're joining the Epic Games family, and they decided to post this absolutely cursed gif of the Fall Guys doing the cringy default dance. Also, this is totally off topic, but he has a little bit of a butt on his crotch. Now they decided to post this frequently asked questions thing here. The internet's crashed, but just to be clear, pretty much everything they see right now is probably only going to be a half-truth. But let's realize that Fall Guys is probably screwed. In fact, if you even look at the- It's already fucking dead, man. Fall Guys lasted a week? Yeah, it was like relevant for maybe a month. Maybe a fucking month. It's like it was the same shit over and over again. It was four minigames and that was it. Uh, Temp J with the two after this, she should do horror of for the night. What do you mean? Like just for the rest of the night? I don't know. We'll see. The replies to this tweet itself. Crotch butt has another name. Yeah. Camel toe or moose knuckle. If it's really fucking big. It's people basically saying rest in peace. Fall guy. People's messages getting deleted. It's probably just YouTube auto filtering. I have no idea. Well, if it's retracted, it means they deleted it themselves. But YouTube also auto filters comments, so. I'm happy for your wallets. I'm devastated for your community. You know, it's just basically saying that this is going to freaking destroy the game itself. Like this, the primary reason that people are so pessimistic about this business deal is because. Ken Dyer with the five. What's up, gamers? Not much, man. We didn't get the Dreamcast guy intro, which is pretty sad. Among Us is a thousand times better. I haven't played Among Us. I played Fall Guys for like probably an hour. Actually, let me check. I don't even know if it's that long, to be honest. I think I uninstalled it already. Uh, Fall Guys, how much... I played it for 65 minutes, bro. That's how much I fucking loved Fall Guys. I should have fucking refunded it. <laughs> like, if I'm being honest, I barely even touched that shit. It was not my thing at all. Not because at all, of man. What happened to Rocket League? Rocket League. British Potato with the two. Check out Vid Chronicles. It's good tism. 
See, the thing is with um, Vid Chronicles, I looked at it. It's like literally Darman shit. So, like, at that point, we might as well just watch Darman because we're, like, already so fucking invested in the Darman <laughs> cinematic universe at this point. Actually just went down this path last year. They got bought by Epic Games. They suddenly went free to play. And the game is chock full of microtransactions to the point which you're actually having to buy keys to unlock your own chests. I mean, pretty much every part of this now just basically requires you to pay to play. Though you can log in, though you can try and do the games itself, if you want to actually unlock any of the cool cosmetics, you better be opening up that paycheck. You're going to be have to constantly pay in order to participate. And this sucks. Of course, this also means it got removed off Steam. Now let's talk about why this is such an obviously awful thing. And it goes beyond just the typical business. How do you recommend getting a PC? Right now, your only hope of getting the parts is buying a pre-built. NZXT build is what I would go with. That's what I used. Really good service, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure they have GPUs in stock, but you will not be able to get the components to build a PC right now. So pre-built is basically your only choice at the moment. These mega conglomerates, more and more, they realize that they can purchase your favorite properties. If there's a game that manages to be daring and yeah, no problem, man. an indie game that manages to push the boundaries, they're usually going to get bought up. The problem is that mega companies like Electronic Arts and Activision and stuff like that, the reason they make so many billions and billions of dollars a year is because they play it safe. Instead of trying to do something that is different or is trying to basically invent the future of gaming, they'd rather just make Call of Duty 55 instead of trying to actually... Just gotta wait a few months. It's not gonna get any better, bro. It's not gonna get any better. It's only going to get worse because as people are making more money from Bitcoin mining, that's just going to attract more people into it. No, it's it's going to get worse. You're not going to be able to get a GPU for probably a year, at least. Maybe a year. It's really bad. <laughs> like, this is not the previous Bitcoin mining craze. This is much, much worse. I mean, you're talking about basically eight times the normal returns of what people were getting back when the 1080 Ti and shit was getting scalped. So, yeah, it's going to be a long time before supply catches up with demand. Actually do something new and interesting fun, they're just going to keep doing the same thing over and over and over again until they go broke. But this makes them so much money that now they can purchase good ideas. Instead of creating great plans, they're going to buy other creative people. Within the world of business, they typically call this brain drain, which is that instead of trying You have a 3070 gathering dust in this box? Sell that shit, man, if you're not using it. Fuck it. You make up the next big thing, you just buy it. You pay off people and just consume all the artists and use them up. And I do think that this is definitely what's going to happen to freaking games like Fall Guys. Now let's just be perfectly clear, Fall Guys is definitely not as popular as it once was. I mean, yes, at one point this was completely top in the charts of Twitch. People were having humongous competitions, competing for crowns, and having a blast. Myself included. I actually have about 85 hours in the game itself. Just Damn. Just trying to get every single cosmetic unlocked. 85 and hours, bro? That's crazy. <laughs> What the fuck? Dude, I have an hour in Fall Guys. That's all I could fucking do. Little storefront. And most of that's probably from sitting at the menu. But the reason I quit <laughs> is because it just kind of got stale. They weren't able to keep throwing out new stuff, and so I moved on to games like, you know, things like Among Us or other cool social experiences. And I think that now that... Fortnite never played Among Us. Swoop in, hey I'll probably never fucking play Among Us. Um, Geminator J with the 279. Griff, why do Americans hate? Wait, why do Americans hate in Canadians? I don't think Americans hate Canadians, bro. To be honest, C Canada and America are basically like the exact same fucking place. <laughs> like, dude, there's almost no difference between America and Canada. Like, everybody in Canada and the U.S. does the same shit. We have the same restaurants. We have the same stores for the most part. We all have the same fucking hobbies. Like, for the most part, Canada and the U.S. are almost identical. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I don't know. I don't think most people hate Canadians.
here. Now that Epic Games has that dump truck full of money pulled up outside, they're going to just strip it of all the cool stuff that made it fun in the first place. They're going to just make the most bland freaking maps. And tr- America plus more mountains? Yeah, I guess. And colder. But that's about it. But I mean, the two countries are so fucking similar. Turn them out as quickly as possible. Every skin is going to be a different marketing deal from, hey, now there's a Vin Diesel skin for Fast and the Furious 9, or, oh, we can go over here and do something like that. Like, the whole thing is that once they realize that they can monetize this again and again and again. Canada is not like the U.S.? Bro, tell me one massive difference that's not like the U.S. Like, what do people do in Canada that, like, the U.S. has nothing of? Like, I'm really curious. Like, what is it that makes Canada, like, so fucking unique? Like, I'm dead. Bro, both the fucking America and Canada. I'm talking cultural, man. Free healthcare is not free. You're paying for it in your taxes. Um, what else? Like, give me something. What, what, like, what is something that Canadians do that Americans would never do? Speak French? Bro, that's not most of Canada. It's just Quebec. And even there... Are they learning? Not something that the U.S. has that they don't. Lacrosse? There's lacrosse in the U.S. There's a lot of schools that have lacrosse in the U.S. Horrible gun laws? All right, no, I'm talking culture, bro. I can't afford Not this. laws or anything like that. Like, give me drink maple syrup? Nope, I've had maple syrup drinks here. I've had that shit. No, give me something cultural. Milk bag? I've seen those before, actually. They're like um environmentally friendly. They're at those like fucking Whole Foods type places. Geminator J with the seven. Can you play Stinger B by Tim Hicks? It's the USA versus Canada and it's copyright free. Should give you a good laugh. I don't know, man. I'm just kind of sketchy on playing music. Because even if it says copyright free, I've learned that shit is not always the fucking case. I heard that Canada might ban airsoft. <laughs> oh my god. Alaska and Canada play hockey together. Dude, um Toronto's part of the NBA. Like fucking Toronto, bro. Part of Canada is part of the NBA. Um the US and Canadian hockey leagues play together basically. Bro, I'm just like I'm like really wondering like what is this massive cultural difference between <laughs> <laughs> fucking Canada and the US. Like, what is it the Canadian people do that people in America just don't? Like, what makes it so different? Like, you can look at Mexico and be like, yeah, that's fucking nothing like the US. But Canada, bro, it's a former British colony. Most people speak English. Most people like all the same fucking sports. We eat the same food. We have the same stores. We have the same restaurants. Like, Canada is literally part of the U.S., and the U.S. is basically part of Canada. They are, like, almost one and the same, bro. You cross the border of the U.S. and go into Canada, it's not, like, this fucking drastic-ass difference. It probably wouldn't even feel like it. Like, I'm just, like, honestly, it's like driving from state to state in the U.S. It doesn't feel like you cross the border. That's what I'm trying to say, man. Like, honestly, I cannot think of anything the Canadians do that Americans are like, oh, dude, we'd never fucking do that. Less obese? I don't believe that. I do not believe that for a second. Canada only has one highway? and That's not that big a fucking deal, man. They have less people. I don't know, man. I'm not seeing any fucking cultural differences here. Less racism, lol. Yeah, I don't believe that one either. Dude, I don't see anything else. What is it? Griffin, aren't you Canadian? You should know. Exactly. Take my word for it, man. I live in fucking... What's that place? Um, Alberta. 
Canada has a lot of forests, bro. The U.S. has a shit ton of forests as well. I'm like, honestly, I'm I'm waiting for something. They don't have USD. Well, Canada tries to fix their dollar against the U.S. dollar, but they failed miserably. So even that. <laughs> ketchup chips. I've seen people put fucking ketchups on their fucking chips. Tyson Kruger with the one. Appreciate it, man. Dude, I'm like waiting for one thing. Honest, give me one. One. It's cooler up there, bro. Alaska's the same temperature. That's part of the U.S. Come on. Give me something, dude. Everything you like could say about up north, they do in Can um in Canada, they have in fucking Alaska. I can't no, like actual shit. ketchup chips? Yeah, I've seen ketchup flavored chips. Bro, I'm I'm just waiting. Same thing with New Zealand and Australia. Yeah, they're almost like one and the same. <laughs> Bro, like, let's face it. The former British colonies in the same general vicinity are very fucking similar. A French city? We have, um, what's it called? What is that shit called? It's in, um, Louisiana. New Orleans. That's kind of a French city. Bro, no, not everyone in Canada speaks French. It's only in Quebec. Next. Come on, bro. Nothing. Um, Geminator J with the uh, 279. With brown gravy? I don't know, but I feel like food is kind of, you know, pointless because you can have, like, <laughs> different restaurants with that type of shit. No, like, I want, like, a cultural difference. Like, what makes Canada's population so different from the U.S. population? Like, I seriously. I Like, I, I can't think of one. I can't afford this shit! Jordan with the two. The U.S. isn't Canada. Got him. Oh, yeah. It was at one point. Well, not really, but... The British offered to shit. sell us Canada, which is really stupid. We didn't buy it. Ricardo Garcia. Yes, but I'm sure the menu is the exact same. Uh, Griffin, Canada and America are like Pakistan and India. You often can't tell the difference exactly. Exactly. It's like New Zealand and Australia. They're almost the exact fucking same. Um, Sackerton with the two. Canada is irrelevant and no one cares about them. I care. The metric system, I guess you could say that, but, dude, I'm talking cultural shit. Come on, bro. What do Canadians do on a normal day that Americans would never do? Temp J with a two, bro, we can just watch some horror. We are all gamer. I don't know, man. I just, I want to hear, dude, healthcare is not a fucking cultural difference. It's just your taxes being higher to pay for something. That has nothing to do with anything. Bro, like, what, is, what does a fucking Canadian do on a normal day that an American would never do? I, can't afford I cannot think shit. of one thing. There is not a distinct cultural difference between the U.S. and Canada. I can't think of one thing. They eat syrup? Dude, I've had that before. Like the fucking syrup that they um pour on the um ice blocks and they roll it up on a stick and you eat it like a fucking like I've had that before. Immigrants, bro, we have a ton of immigrants as well. They're less gamers. You are right next to us. We share the same fucking air. <laughs> like, you think the air just cuts off at the border? Nah. America has oil. Canada has a shit ton of oil, man. That's why um that Keystone Pipeline or whatever was a really big deal because of all the oil in Canada. Nah, Canada has oil. Better weather in the U.S.? Yeah, definitely, but that's not like a cultural thing. 
Like people in Canada like to go to the beach. <laughs> I don't know. Bro, like a lot of Canadians come vacation in the US. Canadians put milk in bags. I've seen that at um Whole Foods or whatever. It's like an environmental friendly bullshit kind of thing. Uh, Canada has oil. Whoever said that is dumb. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Self-sufficient? Bro, the U.S. is self-sufficient. Nah, but I mean, I, I can't think of anything. Canada and the U.S. are basically the exact same fucking thing. Canada has no nuclear... That's not true. Canada definitely has nuclear weapons. I find that very hard to believe. It says they don't, but I think they probably do. It's like how Israel doesn't have nukes. We all know they do. Or how, um, what's the other country that claims Germany? Yeah, Germany doesn't have nukes, guys. The, what, fifth largest economy in the world? No fucking nukes at all. You know. <laughs> they don't have them. Yeah, bullshit. Yeah, no, I don't believe that for a second. You can't be a country and not have a nuke. <laughs> like, I mean, but also the other thing is, is the fucking U.S. will defend Canada. Like, Canada's official military is the United States military. <laughs> like, bruh, the amount Canada spends on their military compared to the U.S. is like fucking pennies. Because they know the U.S. will cover their ass in a second. Germany aren't allowed an army. Yeah, Hitler wasn't allowed an army either, and they did nothing until he invaded four countries. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, treaties are about as good as fucking toilet paper at the end of the day. Oh, dude, there's definitely nukes. Bro, you don't think the U.S. didn't give Canada a nuke if we gave nukes to Israel? I guarantee you there are nukes in Canada. They're probably just our nukes that we give them control over. And that way they can say, oh, we don't have nukes. Can we move on? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm still waiting. Almost soon with the two, weed is legal across the board in Canada. I mean, I guess, but is that like a cultural thing? Like, does everybody in Canada fucking smoke? <laughs> like, I don't feel like that's the case. You don't... Yes, we do. We 100% have horse cops. In D.C., they're all over the place. Bro, I'm telling you, you guys think Canada is like this massive fucking different place. It's not. It's very similar. Directions to sell you what are basically adverts for their other products, they're absolutely... Yes, everyone in Canada smokes. I don't believe that. ...to do it. But more than this... My fear is the fact that these mega conglomerates have realized... Weed is legal in D.C. Not everyone in D.C. smokes. Weed is legal in Colorado. Not everyone in Colorado smokes. I do not believe that everyone in Canada fucking smokes weed. Almost soon with the two, not everyone in the U.S. smokes, but it's a culture. Yeah, I'm talking like the vast majority, which I would not see the majority of people in Canada smoke. ...realize that they can buy... The I best creators and basically just get them to create exclusive content for their platform. Right now, they're probably claiming that this will stay on Steam. It's not going to. They're definitely going to make this an Epic Games exclusive. But it also makes me think of stuff like this. This is Fantasian. So this was actually revealed <laughs> Fantasian. Because it's fucking Asian, bro. A bunch of new screenshots. Fantasian is by... They eat a lot of fish? Bro. Dude... Are you really going to say people in the fucking U.S. don't eat a lot of fish? <laughs> oh, my God. Bruh. This is sad. Canada and the U.S. are basically the same fucking thing. Let's just say it. Canada is like... I can't afford this Canada and the U.S. If you walked across the Canadian border and there were no fucking signs and you walked into a Canadian town, it would be almost identical. It would be almost like the exact same fucking thing. I missed your super chat. 
Uh, this is hard. Both countries doesn't have any culture. I wouldn't say that, but they're very similar. Very fucking similar. Uh, Geminator J with the 279. Griffin is a virgin of the plant. Yeah, I don't smoke. Dude, I don't want to do any fucking drugs that make me, like, retarded. That just, it literally has no appeal to me. The only drug I would probably try is cocaine. Just because, like, it hypes you up. That'd be about it, man. Like, I don't really have an interest in doing acid or fucking LSD. Um, fucking shrooms. Pot. Heroin. <laughs> like, any of that shit. I don't even fucking care about because I don't want to get, like, fucking mentally retarded. But, like, fucking coke, like, apparently just makes you really fucking hyped. So I feel like that'd be pretty fun. But, yeah. I heard coke is one of the worst drugs, bro. Most drugs are the fucking worst drugs. But, no, nah, crack is much worse than coke. I mean, dude, the only thing is you don't use it extended. If you just try it, it's not a fucking big deal. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying like I'm going to become a fucking coke addict, bro. And I can't even use it anyway because I have a fucking security clearance, so I can't use any drugs whatsoever. I can't even take a fucking, um, like a painkiller without a prescription. Because, you know, <laughs> that's a fucking offense, man. That's a crime. Acid slash shrooms are cool, not addictive. Gives you a different perspective on your life. No, what it does is it fucks up your head. That's it. <laughs> like, it just inhibits your thinking. Like, why the fuck would I take a drug that makes me stupid? That makes no sense to me whatsoever. Canadians do not start wars. Bro... Canada is literally an extension of the U.S. Because every single war the U.S. fights in, Canada does as well. <laughs> Canadians think drugs and high taxes are culture? I guess. I don't know. That could be considered California as well. So, once again, another one. No, what he said about shrooms is right. It's mind expansion. No. It inhibits part of your brain. I'm not doing that type of shit. Almost soon with the two, weed does not make you stupid if you use it right. Bro, it makes you fucking, like, really... I don't know how to describe it, but, like, I've seen people fucking use weed, and they get, like, really fucking slow talking. They're, like, really fucking cautious. Like, it's just slowing you down, man. I don't want to feel relaxed. It's like when I had to take Valium or whatever. It just, like, made me feel like shit. I don't know. Like, when I had my um wisdom teeth, like, cut out, they gave me painkillers. I took one, and I felt like shit, and I was like, fuck that. I'm not taking any more. Geminator J with the 279 weed makes you smart and focused. Dude, no. That is not fucking true. My friend was driving while he was fucking high once, and this motherfucker was driving like 25 miles per hour down the fucking highway because he was so fucking paranoid about a cop pulling him over. Like, this dude was moving slow as shit, and he would wait like five seconds after a green light change to fucking drive. So, no, it does not make you smart and focused. It makes you a slow-moving motherfucker and overly cautious about shit. Special Force 117 with a 5, just wondering if Asian immigrants are classified as third-class citizens in Canada, like in the U.S., thought of moving to either country in the future. Why the fuck would Asian immigrants be thought of as third-class citizens? I, I have no fucking clue, man. I don't really know how to answer that one because I, I don't really know where the fuck that's coming from. JC on with the two. Canada is a USA shit. DLC expansion. Yeah, basically. I mean, they did the same shit that we did with the British just a little later. Um, Almost soon with the two. Everything inhibits your brain. It's called moderation. Bro, I have no desire to fucking smoke weed. None. Like, none whatsoever. It does nothing for you. Except changes your mental state, which is really stupid if you ask me. It serves no benefit. Almost soon with the two, cocaine can kill, weed doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't, like, who cares? 
I'm not going to fucking OD on anything. But yeah. Yeah, weed has killed because people lace it with shit to make it more potent and it's toxic. <laughs> so yeah, I can. Or if you get synthetic marijuana, it can fuck you up and you don't know what you're buying. Yeah, bro. Everything in moderation is fine. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Yeah. Weed can kill, but only schizos. Maybe that's a good thing. I don't know, man. Juice world. <laughs> Spazzing the fuck out. Weed isn't for everyone. Yeah, I have no desire. He'll love weed? No, I won't. I will not love weed. Bro, I've seen, like, Review Tech USA or whatever. I've seen his streams when he popped a fucking edible. I would never want to be in that fucking state. Like, giggling and shit? Nah. Nah. <laughs> that ain't it. Weed affects everyone differently. I feel like you're the type of guy to get paranoid and start freaking out. I have no idea, bro. I just literally have no fucking interest. If I want to get, like, happy feeling, I'll just fucking, like, take a couple shots. Like, bro, I can just pound some fucking tequila and I'm good. Same fucking thing. Walker, this is actually Sakaguchi, the creator of Final Fantasy, is making an all-new game that seems completely fantastic, and it's only going to be on iPhone, iPad, and Apple TV. Now, let me actually explain why this sucks. The game itself seems great, but let's just face facts. As cool as this art is, as daring and as original, as fantastic as this whole concept is... My problem with this is that the people who have all the money basically set the rules. The problem is that if these people own the industry, which I think is going to happen, they're going to dictate what is and isn't allowed, where people are going to play. What yeah, dude, I've been around fucking stoners, and they're annoying as shit. Like, they don't ever want to fucking do anything. They're, like, stumbling around and shit, really fucking giggly. It's like getting drunk, but worse. Like, when I get drunk, I don't, like, lose control. But, like, I've seen motherfuckers stress reliever. I don't have stress. So, I don't I don't relate to that at all. See, I don't get stressed out. I get fucking pissed. Like, that's about it. Like, I don't get stressed or nervous or anything like that. I just get pissed off. Jordan with the two, people are kind of annoying when high or drunk, in my opinion. I don't know. You just trolling, right? No. Logan from pissing people off, yeah, that's what I'm here for, man. It's going to be. Yeah, dude, drinking, dude. That's the thing. It's like if I want to be like fucking giggly and shit, or like feel like I'm like relaxed, I'll just fucking take a couple shots, bro. Same fucking shit, man. I don't know. They need the validation, dude. I'm just gonna say it. Stoners are fucking cringe. Every single dude I know who smoked weed every day is just really fucking annoying. Really fucking annoying. <laughs> so, yeah. Geminator with the 279, it's like getting drunk but worse. How would you know? Bro, I've seen it. I've literally hung out with people who have like smoked all fucking day. And they're literally so fucking annoying. Like, one, two of my friends in fucking high school were major fucking stoners. Like, probably spent close to 700 bucks a week. Like, that fucking hardcore. And they were annoying as shit. You know high schoolers, bro? Okay, yeah, sure. I didn't go to college. My bad. Griffin Israel don't do have nukes? Yeah, I know they do, but they officially don't. Griffin weed <laughs> saves my life. I don't believe that. Heard of moderate... Dude, I'm talking about fucking stoners. Of course moderation's fine. Weed is great, whatever. I'm not going to use it, so it doesn't matter. I have no desire to use weed. Like, none. <laughs> like, I'd rather just fucking, like, take a couple shots, man. There's literally no point. 
Seven hundred a week on drugs? What the fuck? Yeah, dude. They used to go to this drug dealer at the fucking Sonic Drive Through by the name of Koof. <laughs> and he would just fucking stick the fucking pot in your um order. It's the only reason anybody went to Sonic in that city. <laughs> Opium's natural, too? Yeah, cocaine's natural, too. Like, bro, everything's fucking natural at some level. Yeah, bro, Koof. Dead ass. That was his name. Weed isn't drugs. It's completely natural. Bro, fucking coke is completely natural. Opium's completely fucking natural. But those aren't drugs. All right, bro. Shrooms are fucking natural, but those aren't drugs. Nah. I can't bro, everything is fucking natural on some level. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Tobacco is a fucking drug. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Y yeah, alcohol is a fucking drug. Damn, bro. Yeah, sugar's a drug. It is. <laughs> Bruh. Dude, we do live in a simulation. <laughs> Tobacco's okay. Dude, nicotine is supposed to be better than caffeine at keeping you focused and feeling alert. So, like, if you have a vape or whatever, apparently that's better than drinking coffee. I heard Coke takes ages to make. No, dude, you can just chew on the leaves. Like, that's what the um ancient Colombian warriors or whatever used to do. That's how they figured out how what cocaine is. The people used to chew on the fucking um, coca leaves or whatever the fuck they're called. And they would like just chew on the fucking leaf and it'd get them like, like juice the fuck up basically. That's like how they discovered the effects. Basically all they do to make coke is they refine it. And extract it from the actual leaves. Dude, the Colombians don't use coke. Like that's a big misconception. Like they don't fucking touch that shit. Yeah, they still chew the coca leaves today. I can't afford this shit! Uh, schizophrenia with the 15? Appreciate it, man. I, I say the exact same shit about shit. weed and weed smokers and everybody that hears it just start coping using the same tired excuses. I've even tried weed before and it was lame. Dude, I've seen the effects as well. And it's literally like getting drunk, but you're more fucking annoying. And you're, like, really fucking lazy and shit. You don't want to do anything. Like, if you're drunk, you want to fucking go, man. I don't know. Trax Cooper with the five. Weed itself won't hurt you or kill you, but people like to mix it with actually deadly shit. And that's when it can harm you, but weed alone can't kill you. Yeah. Well, I mean, unless you just fucking smoke it 24-7 and your lungs fucking die. But, yeah. Because anytime you're putting smoke into your lungs, it's fucking awful for you. Logan M with the two can confirm cigars are wonder. Focus as fuck? Yeah, dude, nicotine's better than caffeine for focus. So, like, even if you buy, like, the fucking Nicorette gum, like, if you really need to focus, just fucking chew some of that. Like, don't chew it all the time so you don't get hooked on it, but... Yeah, nicotine's better than caffeine for focusing. No, we can't kill from smoking 24-7. That's some fucking major bullshit, bro. If you are continuously putting smoke into your fucking lungs, you're gonna fucking die. <laughs> that is complete horseshit. What the fuck kind of science are you listening to? Any smoke, anything other than normal fucking air that you're putting in your lungs is going to fucking kill you. That is not normal. <laughs> Bruh. Jesus Christ. Dude, this is like taking an L. Smoke in your lungs is bad. I know, man. Who would have fucking guessed? <laughs> Your lungs aren't supposed to fucking take in smoke. Let's see. So Special Force 117 with the two. Basically anything can be an addiction. Yeah, absolutely. Bro, people get fucking addicted to... um, What's that shit? They get addicted to fucking McDonald's. Wings of Redemption went on a rant how he used to go to McDonald's even though he knew he shouldn't have. And he started fucking crying on the way there because he couldn't fucking resist. The Manny team with the two. I heard if you smoke weed, COVID doesn't affect you, lol. 
Yeah, and it'll also um, cure cancer, regrow your limb, and make your penis eight inches longer. <laughs> Bro, anytime you put smoke in your fucking lungs, it is bad for your lungs. Like, in the fucking story. Published. <laughs> it's and not, this- that's not even, like, up for debate. <laughs> like, I don't know, dude. Is kind of what worries me the most. As these companies continue to expand, as we see people like CD Projekt Red continuing to publish their own games and buy up studios, we're starting to see stuff like, obviously, Rockstar Games continues to make hundreds of billions of dollars off GTA V. My worry is that as these companies grow, we're going to see... Bro, even vapes hurt your lungs. They're not as bad as smoke. But even a vape, like putting the vapor in your lungs is not fucking natural battle of monopolies previously let's face facts there's been the consoles wars for as long as there's been games pretty much there's always been sega versus nintendo or microsoft versus sony but i think what may happen in the next generation i think that's the big war that's coming up here in the next couple of years is the idea of ea versus ubisoft all these mega companies that already have almost all the freaking infrastructure crushing each other what happens if atlas gets bought out what if they decide to start just making a different persona game every single year and these studios that manage to make some of the most creative games get turned into factories that are practically printing the most boring bland mundane ideas for the basic paycheck my fear with this is the fact that As much as video games have managed to grow and evolve, because, you know, hot take, I do think that video games keep getting better and better, my fear is just the threat of this. The idea that community is going to get put to the side in honor of more profits. But I guess we're going to see what happens. I just wanted to talk about this because I feel like some people do not fully... Ben, Woody with the two people in the UK are addicted to sniffing glue? Bro, yo, let me see if I can find this shit. That reminded me of something. Bro, <laughs> have you guys seen the fucking song about the, um, na- These dudes who sn- like sniff fucking, um, gasoline fumes. Hold on. Let me see if I can- f- It's probably got taken down because, like, people spam the fucking comments. Australia. There it is. <laughs> there it fucking is, man. <laughs> this shit. Like, just think. Someone paid to produce a song about not sniffing gasoline. Just, just remember that shit. I just want to know what type of human being decides, you know what? (laughs) I'm going to start off my morning today sniffing fucking gasoline, bro. (laughs) Like, what the fuck? Yes. 
This looks like Uganda, bruh. No sniffing, guys. No fucking sniffing. Please, <laughs> please resist the urge to fucking huff gas fumes. Do you think you can maybe do that? <laughs> is that is that too much to ask, man? Just don't fucking sniff gas fumes. Just don't snort them, bro. Yeah, they turned off the fucking comments. Dude, the comments used to be fucking savage as shit. Like, people were straight up roasting. I mean, I see why they took them down. I can't afford this shit! <laughs> I don't know. Ah, oh, let's see. Trey X Cooper with the two. Yeah, smoke is bad for your lungs, not the weed. Exactly. But what produces the smoke? Well, no, actually, the tar in the weed is bad for your lungs. The tar from weed gets in your lungs. And it kills the um antibacterial functionality of the surface of the lungs, which can lead to infections. So, no, weed can literally kill your lungs. <laughs> Just like any other smoke. Whether it be from a fucking wood fireplace... A cigarette, a blunt, fucking tea leaves, smoke. I can't this shit. Alex creates with a two. Anything you do excessively will kill you. Like no shit. Yeah. Sacrotin with a two. Now it's a Medicare stream. Indeed, man. R.I.P. The Manny team with the two. Sniffing rugby glue makes you an addict. Dude, I never fucking got the people who like sniffed fucking rubber cement, fucking spray paint aerosol cans like that shit's fucking weird ah uh, dylan jewel with the five you should watch old dare videos we can all agree those are cringe dude the best videos are the old driver's ed ones where they show a bunch of people getting fucking slaughtered by cars when that happened in my driver's ed class i started getting fucking weak and i laughed like the driver's ed teacher like threatened to kick me out because i was laughing I at kids getting fucking mowed shit. down <laughs> like i don't give a shit it may be fucked up but it was still funny. Um, Jordan with the two. I'm in the middle of sniffing right now. Yeah, just go open the fucking gas cap on your car and take a quick huff. James with the two. Look up Jonathan Pie Oppression Obsession. I do not know what that is. Nah, but hold up. Let me see. Let me see if I can find this real quick. I'm gonna open up my browser. I don't want it to fucking pop up on screen. Okay, it didn't. Let me see if I can find this video real quick. I don't think it's on YouTube anymore. Which is unfortunate because it's really good. What the fuck is it? Downloads. Um... This is it. Where'd it go? This fucking video, bro. 
not this version of it, but a very similar one, like the actual version of it. This shit played during my driver's ed, and I fucking lost my shit when I saw it. I can't afford this! <laughs> like, when I saw this fucking video, dude. I, can't I was laughing so hard. I was literally crying. <laughs> and... Dude, they threatened to fucking kick me out of driver's ed if I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> Dude, it was so weak. These kids get fucking mowed down by a car. And I was literally just dying. But this is like a meme version of it. You'll see. Oh, they edited it, bro. Fuck off. You ruined it. We gotta watch the real one. She's got a smile. Makes me a this is the real one. There we go. Lose. Dude, why the fuck would you edit it? That just She's makes it cringe. She's got a smile that it seems to me reminds me of childhood. <laughs> this is the real. Yeah, now it's not like super fucking quiet. Oh, dude, the vocals are shit, man. It's a shitty government advert. <laughs> They're, like, collecting shit in the fucking pond. The Keem one's definitely better. <laughs> Bro, the fucking Since 2000, speeding has killed a classroom of our children. <laughs> Shame on you. You can never control oh, fuck, the consequences. Man. Good memories. Dude, that was when fucking Flappy Bird was like really fucking popular. Because I used to, people used to pay me to fucking play um Flappy Bird on their phone and get them a high score, which is really fucking stupid. But yeah, no, that, that's the same time period, bro. <laughs> Good memories. Isn't that nice? Like some of my best memories from high school are watching kids like fucking die <laughs> in a fucking car advert for speeding, bro. Oh my God. Don't speed, guys. Literally everyone fucking speeds on the road, but don't fucking speed. Oh my god. My man survived in the end. That's right. Bless up. Griffin could not stop laughing. Shame on you. Yeah, that's whatever. Dude, I remember... Because, like, it was my driver's ed teacher and his wife were teaching the class. And, like, he, the dude was, like, fucking staring at me, bro. And then his wife goes, are you completely heartless? Do you feel no sympathy? Which made it even fucking worse, bro. Like, I was literally fucking dying. Like, this is not... This is probably the hardest I've laughed in my entire life. I can't when I saw this fucking ad, bro. I don't know. I love this type of shit. This, like, this dark-ass humor type stuff is great. I don't know, man. I feel no sympathy. That's right. I don't feel sorry for the fake people in the fucking commercial. Oh my god, man. Yo, let's see if there's some other ones. Driver safety. Guy looks at girl. I don't know if I can find it. Oh, this one. Yeah, we watched this one too. Or some No, that's not it. It's a different one. <laughs> Shit. It was something similar to that and it shows them all in the fucking car dead and they're talking. Yeah, there's something similar to that. I mean, I feel like all these videos are probably the same shit after all. Um, pothead investor with the two. This makes me weak. Yeah, this is fucking great. <laughs> the sport hacker with the two Hot Wheels. That's right, man. Skirt skirt. Fuck, dude. 
Oh my god. Tactical specimen with the five, bro. And driver said they showed us a video of how a baby comes out the hole and some kid kept throwing up like five times. Bro, why the fuck would they wait, comes out of the hole? Like a pregnancy? Why the fuck would they show that shit? That's creepy. My driver's training used graphic energy for some real accidents. Some of it was pretty gruesome. Dude, we watched shit like that. <laughs> and they expected us to take it seriously. <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> and what was really fucking awkward too is I had to do the in-car driver's ed. So like the dude just fucking kept asking me about, did I think that was funny? And I kept saying, yeah, man, that video, or that, um, tr what do you fucking call it, commercial or whatever, was hilarious. He goes, why do you find that funny? And I said, because it's not fucking real. Baz Gaming with the two condom commercials are the funniest? I think it depends. I've seen some pretty cringe ones, but sometimes, yeah. What was the one? I don't know. Dude, there's a lot of commercials that are pretty good. The kids were as flat as a pancake. That's right. But, dude, the Keemstar one's fucking gold. It took, like, one of my favorite videos of all time and just made it better. <laughs> like, I'm fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> that shit's fucking gold, man. I can't afford this shit! I don't know. Call me fucked up if you want. That's fine. This was shown, I was shown a car accident death in Brazil and the dude's head got sliced clean off like straight out of doom. Dude, I would probably laugh at that too. Not going to lie, if it happened in real time, I would probably be laughing as well. There's some dumb safety videos in Germany and there's extremely dumb and funny. I really want to show you. Dude, there's a ton of them. There's so many really shitty ones. <coughs> oh shit Jesus Christ yeah killer Keem. what's up drama alert nation I'm your host killer Keem, starring all the kids are fucking screaming I fucking love that video bro that is like goat status Dude, I wish they still uploaded that type of shit to YouTube because I would love to do videos on that. T. Carter with a 2 saw the Deja Vu version of that. Oh, yeah. I've seen that one as well. Search for Volkswagen bombing advertisement. All right. Let's see. Who doesn't love a good bombing? Features a suicide bomber? What the fuck? <laughs> That's fucking great, dude. What the fuck? Bro, back when commercials were actually fucking good. That would make me want to buy a car. What the fuck happened to all these companies, man? That's fucking gold. Dude, I want to buy a Volkswagen right now. Damn, man. That's fucking great. Dude. <laughs> Dude, Volkswagen's based as shit. Dude, how the fuck did... Like, bro, how far have we fallen, you know? It's just really sad, man. Because, like, back in, like, 2010-ish, like, this would have been fucking... Everybody would have been, like, laughing their ass off.
Like, oh, dude, a fucking terrorist killed himself. Now somebody be like, that's fucking racist, dude. You fucking insensitive piece of shit. He was doing it for fucking Allah, you Western fuck. Kill yourself. You should have died in that bombing. Like, bro, I guarantee you. There'd be all these fucking retards defending it. Like, oh my god, dude. Terrorism is a... Is a side effect of capitalist oppression in the Middle East. Like, dude, you can already fucking hear it. All these fucking Twitter retards. Special Force 117 with the two. Allahu Akbar. That's right. <laughs> that shit's fucking gold, though. Dude, I need to buy, like, a controlling stake in Volkswagen to bring back this commercial. Or I'll just rip it off. <laughs> Dude, Elon Musk should do that shit. <laughs> he would probably do that shit. I guarantee you Elon would probably do a fucking troll video like that. I could see it, man. I could absolutely see it. Funniest thing about Dude, that shit's fun. I don't know. I can't afford this shit! Why did what get removed? Watch old video game commercials. Uh, it just depends on them. Like, some of them are really cringe, bro. Like, the old live-action fucking GameStop ones are really shit. Elon, yup, that's within his sense of humor. Definitely. I could want it. Dude, he could do that shit for the Cybertruck. Because, you know, it's, like, designed to be, like, super fucking resistant to everything. It'd be perfect. I feel like he'd get in some real bad trouble. I don't think so. Bro, Elon's untouchable. They've tried to cancel Elon so many fucking times. Like, dude, they tried to cancel Elon for providing... <laughs> what was it? Um, The filters or whatever at the start of the COVID shit in California? Like, they tried to cancel him for not donating enough. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. <laughs> Elon is a space god? Dude, Elon's fucking great. It makes me happy to know I'm buying a car from him. I'm getting deleted for saying the R word. Change to um live chat. I don't know. YouTube censors the chat, so I can't control that. That is all YouTube, bro. Has nothing to do with me. I, I do not control shit. YouTube's filter at all. It was CPAP machines, too. He meant them to be converted into ventilators. Yeah, I don't know. Dude, it's just stupid. Like, bro, they try to cancel for... E they try to cancel Elon for fucking everything. Elon overrated as a human being? Why? Dude, Elon's gonna be, like, the richest dude on Earth. Like, for real. Because the motherfucker's gonna be the guy leading the charge to fucking, um... Mars. And think about, like, how all the fucking gold and shit is. Like, that's the thing. Like, the first person who gets to Mars, bro, like, think about it. All the gold and shit that's on Earth, there's probably more of that on fucking Mars. So whoever gets the mining rights to fucking shit. Mars, bro, is going to be wealthier than any fucking body on Earth. And if Elon gets there first, shit. dude, he's going to be rolling in the money. Yeah, Elon is going to be king of Mars. Tactical specimen with a three, bro. YouTube poo back in the days, though. I mean, some of them were good. Some of them weren't. Like, some of them were pretty fucking cringe. But, yeah, some of them were decent. Temp J with a two, do horror, or I'm going to give you a tug tug. I'll take the tug tug, man. Jordan with a two. Elon is one of the few CEOs I actually respect. Yeah, I agree. I think he's a cool guy. He's, like, genuine. He doesn't bullshit people. Well, he does bullshit the right people. Let's say that. Dude, Elon is the world's richest African-American. Just a fun fact. Elon is the most famous, wealthy, and successful African-American on planet Earth. Think about it, man. You can't tell me otherwise. A British potato with a two. You should check out the ultimate gamer Halo 2. Is that like a trailer? That's a troll? Dude, it's not a fucking troll. He is the richest 
most famous, most successful African American on planet Earth. He lived in South Africa and moved to America. That is the definition of an African American. He was born in Africa and moved to America. And you can't convince me otherwise. Dude, Elon's dad's like really fucked up. Apparently Elon's dad married this woman who had like an infant. And he, like, groomed the child and then married the fucking child. Yeah, he's from Africa, bro. Elon is the richest African-American on planet Earth. I can't or you could even say just African in general, man. Elon's the richest African. <laughs> Elon doesn't have a wife. It's just his girlfriend. Bro, Elon's not going to get married. He's not going to give away half his money. Jeff Bezos took the L on that shit when he decided to send his dick pics to some fucking news reporter. All I can say, man, is like there's a um museum in D.C. like called the African American Smithsonian or something like that. Um... Like, they should have an exhibit on Elon in there. How many people do you think that would fucking piss off? Watch me, can you? We already did. Temp J with the two. Do horror or else tug tug. By the way, I'm only 13. Bro, that's on you, not me. I'm not the one issuing ultimatum, so. It's 100% on you. He's my favorite African American. Same here, man. Absolutely agree, dude. African American Museum with Elon. Dude, he should have his own exhibit. Like, that shit would be funny. That would be a great fucking troll. Elon was married three times already. Yeah, he's not getting married again. Uh, Pothead Investor with a two. I Elon got big brain. Agreed. Set. Elon is smart and rich. Yep. Dude, the thing is, is like everybody thinks Tesla's a car company. It's fucking not. It's an energy company. SpaceX is going to be his big moneymaker, and then the solar panels are just kind of to tie the two together. I don't know, man. Personally, I'm very hyped for my Cybertruck. So, what was it? The Ultimate Gamer Halo 2. Oh, is this like a fucking... Oh, it's a TV show. Yeah, it's long. How many are there? Part two? It's like 20 minutes? I don't know, man. What is this shit? You're getting a Cybertruck? Yeah, man. I have it pre-ordered. <laughs> Let this shit play again. Uh, let's see. Manny team with the two. Have a good night, bro. I enjoy watching your streams. All right, man. Have a good one. <laughs> Dude, that's so fucking good. Temp J with the two. Do horror and get tug tug. Nah, I'm good, man. To be honest, I didn't want either. I can't afford this. I'm legit going to Mars 2026. All right, man, you go for it. Should I invest in Tesla? What is Tesla stock price at? Recently, it dropped to 630, and I bought a fuck ton. So let's see how I did. I haven't checked my um, stocks in a while. So it's at 680. Um, I would say it's probably a good time to buy. It's pretty low. I mean, I would just hold it long term. Don't expect like to make a hundred fucking dollars in a day, but you know. Pothead investor with a two head growth. Should I pre order a Cybertruck? If you want it, yeah. You lock if you do it now, you can lock in the price of the autopilot because it keeps increasing. Like I got mine for seven thousand. I think it's up to nine thousand now. So yeah, you can like remove it later if you don't actually want it. I but can't afford this shit. I would go ahead and secure your price. So yeah, I have mine pre ordered. I have the um dual motor autopilot one. I own a Tesla Model 3 Performance. Fire, man. Recreate this ad with a Cybertruck. Hell yeah, dude. 
I gotta learn how to do like fucking um After Effects then, cause I don't know how to do that. I'm not that gifted with editing. So now nah, if I invest, I'm in for the long haul, big money. Hopefully, yeah. I think if you do that, you should be fine. I mean, it's a good price to buy right now, six hundred bucks or seven hundred ish. It should be fine. It'll go back up to close to a thousand. You know, Tesla will have one fucking amazing report or something, and people will be like, oh my god, dude, I gotta buy all of it right fucking now. Will you make a video once you get the Cybertruck? Maybe, yeah. I don't know. Like, what a fucking Cybertruck unboxing. I don't think it's coming out till 2022, so I got some time, man. I got some fucking time. Let's see. What should we watch now? Let's see what's on trending. Please help us. Shut the fuck up. I hate this type of bullshit. Um. Being pregnant for 24. Jesus Christ. Who the fuck watches this shit? Ocho breaks down real men cry too. I am an athlete with Brandon Marshall, Chad Johnson, and more. 600k views and it's on fucking trending. Why? That's not trending. Alex creates with the two. Where can I buy stocks? Like Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade, Scott Trade, E Trade. Any of those are fine. Pothead Investor with the two. I got $200 on Tesla today on opinion trading. Okay, cool. Fire, man. I like Schwab because you can buy the um, stock slices. So you can put in $5 increments and buy as much of a stock as you want. You don't have to buy like a full share. Bro, why is this coming up? This is old as fuck. The shipwreck treasure is worth its weight in gold. Because it's a fucking gold bar. Holy shit, dude. Dude, this is like depressing. I customize a switch in 10 hours. 1 hour, 10 minutes, 1 minute, and 10 seconds. Wow. How I exciting, bro. Dude, who the fuck is watching this, Garbo? Minecraft... The main character of Dream SNP. More Minecraft. Um, my first 40 bomb. Bro, who the fuck is still watching Fortnite content? Jesus Christ. Dude, this is so... Dude, the Pokemon Direct is still on trending after four days. God damn. Tactical Specimen of the Three, Badlands Chug Watch. Wait, what the fuck is that? Option trading, my bad? No problem, man. Shit. No worries. I know what you meant. Yeah, opinion. I mean, opinion trading is basically option trading because you're trading on opinion. So, yeah. I got what you meant, dude. No worry. Dude, most of this shit's really fucking depressing. Bobby Schmurda and Quavo link with Icebox in New York on his first day out. Damn, bro. That's a must watch. You want me to watch fucking Darman? I don't know, man. Pokemon Pog? Yeah. Dude, everybody's doing like these shorts channels now. I feel like I probably should do that. Sweeping Hamster with the five. Schwab also has no Forex debit card. Wait, it has a no Forex debit card if you ever travel internationally? Interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, I use Schwab, and I didn't know they had that. That's a cool. F that's actually a really cool perk. Damn. Good to know. Not gonna lie, Mr. Beast, boring as fuck. I agree. I don't watch any of that crap. Um, Geminator with the seven. Watch a hundred life hacks by Filthy Frank, dude. I've seen that shit before. I mean, we can watch it if you want. You guys want to watch that shit? So we can if enough people want to. I mean, I've seen that like what back in high school, bro. That's an old video. I can't afford this shit. Ah, uh, Darman looks like a cuties fan. Hmm. 
It's kind of, dude, I wish they had the fucking feature that Twitch had for the polls. And I'll just put it on. It'll be good background noise, and then I'll just um keep doing questions and shit. 100 life. Why would the fucking... Dude, look how they're trying to block that shit. They don't want you to find it. Life. Life is full of mystery. Mystery. Life um, is Pond full Investor of two. How crazy is the Wall Street you that saved again, GME? Sister. Sometimes it's they didn't save it from anything, bro. The stock price has nothing to do with the company itself. Like, that's very... That's something that a lot of people don't realize. Stock price has nothing to do with the performance of a company. Like, Tesla was not making money until a couple months ago. And the stock price continuously went up. So stock price has nothing to do with anything to do with business operations, profitability, anything of that nature. It just solely has to do with speculation on future performance. So it literally means nothing unless GameStop has a bunch of shares in reserve that they dump into the market and get some more money, but they probably would not do that. So yeah. Hard to open a jar. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to clean the sink. Yeah. And if you're not careful, you just might fall and not get up. Tactical yeah. specimen with the two yeah. Badlands yeah. well, chug watch and please. I'll look him up and we can do it next time, we but I'm not sure. Your life just a little bit easier. How? Life hacks. Hell yeah. Dude, I'm probably gonna get in trouble with YouTube for watching this shit because he says kill yourself. Make your life easier. No way. Way. Oh yeah. Having a hard time getting that stain off the wall? Well, now you can just add a few drops of lemon and that stain will go right away. Oh yeah. Are you having a hard time smoking and eating at the same time? Well, now you can put both cigarettes in your nose. Thanks, life hacks. You're oh, all that. Yeah. Are you tired of asking for ketchup all the time? Hey, boss. Well, man. here's an alternative. Bro, this is like YouTube already. 2014. I'm pretty sure this is old. Yeah, 2015. Your mouth Way older day, than 2016. Get ready to use it when you're ready. Dude, these were like when I was still in fucking high school. <sighs> Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, yeah! Do you want pearly white teeth the natural way? Now you can do it for cheap. Spray paint your teeth white. Yeah! <laughs> do you want to lose weight but hate exercise? Well, now there's an alternative. You can become bulimic. All teenagers are doing it. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh yeah! Dude, this would no they would are fucking flag you down in a second for this shit. Are you tired of dealing with women and their bullshit? Well, now you can change your sexual preference and become uh, a homosexual. Uh, Dicks for life! Is your pet misbehaving? <laughs> Dude, I now fucking love this part. Your pet in a nice long sock. <laughs> this is the best fucking part. Do you hate doing this? <laughs> That's like the well, best fucking part. No you can take yourself out of this existential nightmare. Are those birds outside chirping a little too loud? Well, just fucking kill them! Are your loud neighbors keeping you up at night? Well, just fucking kill them! Are you an irrational radical feminist? Well, here's a tip. Get laid, you fat piece of shit! Are you an irrational radical anti-feminist? Well, here's a tip. Get laid, you fat piece of shit! Can't reach the remote? Don't even sweat it! Now you can call upon the demons of Selzar! Those guys will take care of anything! School sucks! Well, thank goodness 
there's a way to get out of school or just call an anonymous bomb threat. Allahu life hacks, if you know what I mean. Have too much to eat? Do you need to take your Bruh. food on the go? Just put it in your pocket and you can eat it anywhere. You can even eat it in the park. Do you mind if I uh, take a little seat here? Are you good? Yeah, all right, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine not knowing what the fuck's going on and then you're like in one of the most iconic YouTube videos of all time. The name of these videos, bro, is just Filthy Frank. Bruh. Bruh, you want some? No. <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. Yeah. Ravioli, ravioli. What's in the pocket only? Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. My lord. Oh. 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 Ravioli, ravioli. What's in the pocket only? <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. Are you afraid of death and eternal darkness? <laughs> well, good news. You can choose to believe in an afterlife. Oh, yeah! Did you spill your water? <laughs> Look at this stupid piece of shit! <laughs> you fucking freak! Do you hate being shot at by the police? <laughs> well, here's a simple alternative. Just don't be black! Social commentary! You having trouble staying awake to do your homework? <laughs> It'll wake you right up. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Unwanted pregnancy? Oh, dear. Get rid of it the natural way. Drink some nail polish remover. <laughs> Hell, yeah! Bruh. Oh, yeah! Are you horny? Well, now you can make your own personal sex doll. First, you grab an orange. Bruh, this would nice sting like a motherfucker. In the orange, put the orange away, and put a bunch of roofies in your drink. And then feed it to a girl. You try this. It's gonna make you feel real good. Gonna make you feel real good. Do you hate cleaning? Uh, Just do it. it. Just <laughs> fucking do it. No, no. Is that darn pickle jar? Just oh, fucking do oh, it. Oh, yeah. Is your neighbor's tree being just do it, you fucking pussy? Is your light bulb broken? Just do it. And are you looking for vitamins? Smell that shit. It's fucking good, huh? <laughs> Before H3 was fucking cringe. Well, I mean, he was always kind of cringe, but, you know. It's a shame how he's fallen so fucking far. Do you want to start a garden on- Kill yourself! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Kill yourself! Oh yeah! Hey faggot, where'd you get that shirt? Oh yeah! Yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah! Oh yeah! Because life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. How do I know this? I don't. But I'm making sound, and that's the important thing. It's filthy Frank, motherfucker. Dude, now H3 would be like, oh my god, are they encouraging suicide in a YouTube video? They should be removed from the plot. Like, he would never be in a fucking video like this anymore. Dude is a complete fucking pussy. Mm. Filthy Frank's music is weak. Yeah, I'm not a fan of emo rap or whatever the fuck it's called. Special Force 117 with D2. Filthy Frank is still golden. Yeah, dude, his videos are like classics. Pothead Investor with the 2. H3, H3 betrayed us. Yeah, he definitely did. Dude, he sold the fuck out. He was like, dude, I got my money. I don't fucking care. I'm just going to virtue signal and fucking milk this shit for as much as I can. <clears throat> Mm. 
I never really liked H3, though. Like, even the fucking Vape Nation shit was just kind of like, eh. Or putting on a bunch of fucking sh Like, bro, H3 was like, I'm too big of a pussy to be Filthy Frank. That's always the vibe I got from H3's channel. Like, he always wanted to be Filthy Frank, but was just really fucking boring. I don't know. Like, <laughs> that's just the impression I got from him. Like, he's just, he's not funny. Yeah, he stole Vape Nation from Frank. Yep. So, you know, it's just like, he's a fuck. because after that, he never appeared in another Filthy Frank video after he made Vape Nation. So, obviously, there was something going fucking on there. Uh, Baz Gaming with the two, watch his Mac versus PC video. I don't know, man. We'll see. Trey Scooper with the two. Watch this his Nickelodeon Girls music video. It's gold. I don't know, man. Like, just go watch the videos yourself, honestly. Like, I don't know. The whole fucking Filthy Frank channel is, like, great. Just, like, go watch it and give him the views. Because I'm pretty sure he still makes money from it. I think. I have no fucking clue, man. <clears throat> shit. Dude, my throat is like fucked. Alright, so I'm thinking, what should we do? Watch down the rabbit hole? That's another night. I don't know when I'm gonna do that. Dude, it's almost like 4 a.m. right now. Would love to see Filthy Frank survive in today's current landscape. He would never make it or something like that. Yeah. Dude, H3H3 H3 is a fucking pussy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all old content like this stayed monetized. Like, even some of the shit that would be demonetized today that I made in the past is still monetized, so. Dude, his music is kind of, like, mid, though. Like, I don't really know who the fuck's out here actually listening to fucking Filthy Frank's music other than, like, edgy 14-year-olds, but I don't know. Trey Scooper with the two. Have you listened to his Pink Season album? Yeah, like way back in the day. Dude, I used to watch Filthy Frank when like he used to put his videos out. Like I was sub to him back in the day. Um, Schizophrenia with the eight. I'm pretty sure Ethan even took jokes from Sam Hyde too. Dude, was a grunt elemental of stolen ideas. Yeah, dude, H3H3 H3 is just a bitter old man at this point. Like he's just a fucking loser. I don't know. It's just, he's a sad old man grasping on to any little bit of his relevancy. Like, it's really fucking sad to see, man. It's definitely only for a certain audience. Yeah, I'm not a fan of his music at all. I like his YouTube videos a lot fucking more. Watch Scott the Waz. Doesn't he just do, like, gaming, like, essay videos? I'm not really into that, to be honest. Like, gaming essay content's just really boring, like, Clean Prince and Downward Thrust just left a bad taste in my mouth. Quintessential Quentin with the two Badland Chugs. What the fuck is it, though? Like, nobody's answered that shit. Like, what the fuck is that? Call of the Night? Yeah, I think I will, honestly. Like, how long? Even four hours? I think that's good. I don't know. After, like, three to four hours, like, you kind of just start running out of shit to watch. Oh, shit, I know who that is. Yeah, we've watched that shit on stream before. He chugs, like, the fucking Blue Mountain Dew. Yeah, we've watched that. He has, like, the fucking boot. Yeah, I've watched that before. I mean, we can watch one of those. Yeah, I've seen that. He has, like, the boot. Yeah, I've seen this guy. The Mountain Dew, every chug, ju yeah. This one. I've seen this one. All right, let's watch this one. New Gillette antiperspirant. Feel dry without worrying about irritation. Jesus with the two. What's up, Griffin? What were tonight's days. topics? Just random shit, to be honest. Nothing really to... Roll with this basket guy. Let's go from fuck to dry.
What's good now? Badlands Chubbs is back. And right now, I'm about to attempt something that no one is even capable of or no one is even crazy enough to do. You're watching Badlands Chubbs. I'm about to conquer the Tostitos Salsa Pyramid. All right? Bro, that's and fucking now, nasty. I got to, the nice Tostitos Salsa. They're friends. Tostitos salsa tastes like shit, in my opinion. I don't know. I don't really like it. To the tortilla chips, friends to your sour cream and onion potato chips, and you know all the rest. I like this better than French onion. Mr. Dono? Uh, where? Oh, JC, I'm with the five. Can you watch the seven minute Wings Rage Comp? Um, I don't. Ha depending on how long this takes, maybe, but I'll see. Because I'm going to call it at four. So we can see if we get to it. Tactical specimen with the two. Big smoke drinks the ocean. Yeah, I've seen that one as well. HTM with the two. Dude, you got to watch Dark Knight Ballad of N-Word. Yeah, I've seen that. I have seen that before. But this is not your mild, okay? Or even the medium, okay? Not even the hot. This is the habanero, okay? The hot is of the hot. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't get any hotter than this, all right? How hot's a habanero? I don't know any scope or anything. I got a DM map, so just know it's hot, all right? And I'ma chug it the only way I know how, out the DOS boot. All right, let's stop stalling. Enough talk. Let's get this going. Ooh. Once you hear the pop, there's no stop. Ugh. Bruh. Drinking fucking salsa. Mm. All right. We're just going to keep going until it's full. Dude, the amount of, like, you would have to shit so fucking bad. After drinking this, schizophrenia with the aid. You can watch some old internet blood sports clips that used shit used to be funny back in the day. The only hesitation I have is the fucking is the fucking shit they say. But maybe, yeah, that's definitely a possibility. Some of that shit's fucking hilarious. What was that one thing they had? It was like the five or six hour long stream of just like pure fucking autism. I forget what that shit's called, but I watched like the whole thing. It was like 18 different people in the fucking call. Mm. Yeah. Yum, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that bad boy in there. Let's see, maybe about five. Five should do it. Okay, four. <laughs> All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, this guy's gonna die of like a heart attack in twenty years at the least. Or at the most, bro. Like, I actually kinda feel bad. This dude is not gonna live. <laughs> Holy shit. It's sad, man. Five. Did we fit one more in there? I think you can get one more. Get one more. I think you get crazy with one more. Let's we'll get one more in there. Oh my gosh. Oh, that looks amazing. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Big ups to Dame Drops. He's oh. filming. Dame Drops is filming. But this is really too thick to chug properly, so I'm just going to put a little water in it. Just for GP, okay? There we go. Now, you know this is not my savior, okay? Water makes it worse. So, let's just move this over here. Mm. Get over here, get over here. All right. Is he going to mix up the water? Okay. This is two liters, okay? 64 oh, ounces. my God, bro. This is... Your whole grocery store full of Tostitas salsa. 
you can't find no salsa in your grocers, grocery store, it's because I took them all. All right, enough talk. Three, two, here come the pain. <laughs> Dude, that fucking ad placement's great. I'm not even mad, bro. Schizophrenia with the A. Appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. I can't believe these idiots are still defending the weed smoking in the chat. These dudes are insecure as fuck. Get off the 420 and get on that grind. That's right, man. No matter which way you flip it. Or what? Wait, is it? What is it? It's like life is like a sandwich. No matter which way you flip it, the bread comes first. That fucking shit. That's the truth, man. That's what's up. Oh, bruh. He's going to need more water. Oh, dude, that's just fucking gross. I can't this shit. Oh, gross, dude. Stop it, I'm going. Go, go, go. Ugh. No, dude. What the fuck? Are Azriel the two? Have you seen a reactive Mr. Medicare? Yeah, I used to watch him. He's gone now. Oh, shit. Into. No defeat, okay? No retreat, no surrender, and every other insane that comes with this. <laughs> uh. Jesus with the five, not the way I thought the start of the Wednesday would be. Yeah, this is weird. this shit's fucking my gross. If you don't mind, Dylan Jewel with the five, I would not want to see this man's volcanic man. shit after this video, dude. His ass is gonna be on fucking fire. I'm surprised he hasn't fucking puked, man. This fucking noise, bro. Jordan with the two. This is making me sick watching. Bro, this is something else, dude. Get that. Get that. Get it. Oh, god damn. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> Fuck yeah, it is. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Chugging the world one bottle at a time. Bad Vance Chugs is back. Jesus Christ, dude. Into every city, including Little Rock. And even. Dude, his ass is going to be burnt. Yeah, I don't blame him for stretching that fucking video out, man. You better fucking believe I would do the same shit. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. <clears throat> Damn, bro. So what is it? The Wings of Redemption 7 minute? Um, 
I don't know. What what video exactly am I looking for in terms of wings? I don't know if you're still here, man. Uh, who was it? Yeah, Jason, are you still here? It's just wings right. Oh, okay. It's just the fucking um It's Sean Ranklin, right? Why can I not type? I'm not interested in anything, dude. I turned the only interest I had in life into my into my job. Baz Gaming with the two is getting third degree burns, 100%, man. Dude, I can only imagine how fucking... Dude, it would hurt so bad to shit. So fucking bad to shit. <clears throat> I don't know what to fucking do. Play Halo? I mean, I could play some Halo. For a little while. I don't know. <clears throat> Bruh. Days, bro. I fucking miss these days of wings. Such happy times. But I had like eight troll videos a night to watch. So fucking sad that it's over. Now wings is just so boring. Uh Special Force 117 with the two. Mukbang Extreme Olympics. 9,000. Yeah. Dude, I can only imagine how bad that dude's ass hurts. <laughs> Yeah, Wings is a rage quitter. I can't Absolutely. This shit. Motherfucking hardest. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Look at him looking into the camera like, Fuck, dude. I just gave him another clip. I cracked that? <laughs> I broke my controller. <laughs> Fucking crack my monitor. <sighs> Rip 4K monitor. RIP wings, man. The end of an era. <sighs> Fuck, man. Get some rest? Why? I don't really need You're worthless rest. because, like, I don't give a shit if you watch or not. You're not worth any money to me. Broke his $300 monitor, that's right. I still love that syndicate match between wings and him, where he goes, I broke my control. I, I mean, my grandma's here, but, like, I barely see her. <laughs> I just could never understand getting this pissy over a video game. Not gonna happen, buddy. Not gonna happen. You go. Fuck! Fuck you! Fuck! You. Fuck! You. <laughs> the fucking chair squeak, bro. The fucking chair squeak makes it so much better. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! We have lost objective. 
bro, that fucking squeak is like perfect. I don't know, man. Like wings back then was just a fucking walking meme. Everything this fucking thing who did was just amazing. Special Force 117 with a 5. I can't imagine his reaction to the skill-based matchmaking system now. If he has problems with the game back then, yeah, exactly. Black Ops 3 skill-based matchmaking was nowhere near as bad as it is now. I just don't understand why they want to make Call of Duty sweaty. Like, it's really stupid if you ask me. Freddy. I can't I afford this shit! Behind us like that. How come the whole enemy team is all of a sudden tryhards? <laughs> and you're fucking not? Like, every one of them has like an XM8 on or a fucking BMP. <laughs> I love how Wings acts like he's not a fucking tryhard. Pothead Investor with a phone, did you see the video where they made it look like he robbed a store? Yeah. Him and his wife went to, um, like, Office Depot or something. Yeah. I remember that shit. <laughs> I love how the fucking controller just goes flying, bro. <laughs> fucking squeak. Playing like shit, Jordy. You're playing like shit. Down, Jordy. You don't need to run around. Nobody gives a fuck about what you play anyway. It's not like you're gonna get. <laughs> yeah, slow the fuck down, Jordy. It's not like anyone gives a shit of how you play anyway. <laughs> Dies and fucking pitches his fucking controller. <laughs> Bruh. Goddamn, bro. Dude, if Wings was smart, he would auction off his broken controllers from these memorable moments of his streaming days. I'd buy a certified, authentic Wings of Redemption broken controller. 100%. I would pay a couple hundred bucks for that. And as a piece of fucking history. That angle and winning a gunfight. Okay. That's how the game works, buddy. That's the mechanic in the fucking game, but you know? I'm just trolling you, chill. It's not it, 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 Hey, yeah, whatever. I hope your family <laughs> dies in an automobile wreck. <laughs> I fucking love that what? clip. I say that because you're a fucking piece of shit. You're a human equivalent of a piece of shit. I hope your family dies in an automobile, right? Dude, this is way back. This is Keem and Only Use Me Blade and Woody's Gamer Tag. I think White Boy 7th Street comes in at some point. This is a legendary fucking debate because Wings was like suicide baiting or something. You shit. Fucking suicide. Do you not understand the gravity of the city? <laughs> he fucking chucks his mic. Dude, I used to watch Keem all the fucking time back then. You whore and shit. Fucking suicide. Do you not understand the gravity <laughs> of the situation? You fake the suicide for views. Your fucking raw instinct. Your fucking G unit wings. This is what you are. This is what. You these were great fucking days, dude. Back when Call of Duty was so full of drama. It was such a great fucking time. You brought, you brought this on yourself because <laughs> you need him more views. Fucking weak. Use wings, it's not <laughs> oh, this is fucking great. Are you in the game? I love this fucking video. Wings, did you spawn in? I broke, I broke my, my controller. controller. <laughs> broke your controller? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep fucking laughing, you fucking faggot. Oh, wings, I think you are. Oh, oh don't fucking days. suck. Fucking faggot. Shit. Why the fuck you stream that shit? Yeah, we've all been there, man. Fuck you. Me? Why the fuck you stream that shit? It was your idea. No, I didn't say stream it. 
Oh my god, man. I thought it was your idea. Dude, that old Xbox man. noise is so fucking nostalgic. Like, I hate nostalgic. Call of Duty. I fucking hate it, dude. It fucking ruined my life. <laughs> hate everything about it. Dude, I do need to add a bunch of effects to the soundboard. Dude, this is back when COD used to be really fucking Coming funny to on Paramount YouTube. Plus, before the pineapple, before the crusty crab. This there shit's fucking monetized. Yeah. That's great. God damn, bro. <laughs> Let's do another one. Fuck I don't it. know when I'll stream again. I really need to make this fucking money. I, I really wanted to get this fucking <laughs> surgery, man. I wanted it so fucking Fuck bad. Man. <laughs> I just, just can't do it. I can't take this shit, shit no more, man. I want, all I wanted to do was, like, I was fucking lonely. I wanted to fucking, fucking stream and, and, and have a good time. Maybe have a good game. <laughs> Bro, he whimpers like a fucking dog. Webby, fucking leave, dude. Yesterday on our stream that was fucking awesome. Like today I get, I'm fucking on the borderline of crying and I don't give a fuck about playing Call of Duty, but I got 300 motherfuckers in here. It's a fucking champion. You are a nigger. You're getting out the session. <laughs> so fuck you. Fuck everything about you. He looks so like just like. Yeah, that's a clip where he cries. He goes like, I hate my life. <laughs> Dude, he whimpers like a fucking dog. Golly, I'm done with this shit, son. I'm so done with this shit. I fucking hate Call of Duty so fucking bad, man. It ruined my life. 40% for real, yeah. It's considered... It's These considered were better days, man. Better fucking days. On. How are you supposed to deal with this shit? <laughs> Bruh. I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm done with the stream. I'm done. Oh Girl, shit, motherfucker. Balls, oh, let me, let me just start cussing. I'm... Well, fuck boy, shit, and nigga, blah, 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 blah. Come on. Bro, he said the N word, dude. I guess Wings is racist, man. Start cussing. I'm well, fuck boy, shit, nigga, blah, 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 blah. Come on, man. You sound like a retard. Like, honestly. And you saw my fucking left nut. Shut your fat ass up. Bitch. Well, shut your fat ass up. <laughs> baseless ass motherfucker. Well, shut your well ass up. Motherfucker. Fucking three McDonald's working ass, ass motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker look like look like Harambe. <laughs> Bro, I forgot about this shit. When he told the black guy he looked like fucking Harambe. Dude, I forgot about that shit. God fucking damn it, bro. I remember that fucking... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Play it again? All right. <laughs> so 
know well that stuff. Motherfucker. Fucking three women McDonald's working ass motherfucker. Yeah. Motherfucker look like look like Harambe. <laughs> look at that bullshit. God damn it, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> motherfucker looking like Harambe. Holy shit, dude. Shit, man. <sighs> I'm, a, I'm already playing a game I don't want to play to get views. Is that not enough for you? Like, like literally. I'm a girl man accused everyone. Uh, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. I'm done. I'm done? <laughs> I'm done. All right. Fuck, man, I hate this game. Dude, I can't fucking let this shit go. <laughs> Motherfucker looking like Harambe. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. That stunt kid is calling people bad, so and all he does much. is run around with a sniper. <laughs> How I can get in contact with these guys, I would really like to know because, like, I'm seriously considering um, suing them. Because at this point, they're going to follow me around when I stream. And they're affecting my business at this point. Honestly, they're affecting my. They're, they're affecting my. They're affecting my ability. Accent, bro. It that literally could not have been any fucking better. Jesus Christ, dude. Need to make money. It appear offline doesn't work. I'm fucking offline. Here it comes. <clears throat> Look here. Look here. Look, listen. <laughs> Appearing offline does not fucking stop it. So stop giving fucking advice you know nothing about. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> ah, this game's a pile of shit, dude. That loud ass fucking squeak, bro. Like, listen. <laughs> that fucking squeak, dude. That chair is crying out in pain. I fuck, I fuck you. Ban Prometheus, Pyrometheus, whatever. Fuck you. Get the fuck out my stream. <clears throat> that was his chair, bro. Dude, his chair used to squeak. All I mean, the dude weighed almost 500 pounds. Tell me to play for fucking fun. Go play for fun on your own fucking time. Can you, can you please stop, dude? Honestly, can you stop, Kudzo? <laughs> like, why are you doing this to me? Real, real talk, why? <laughs> I remember this fucking one.
just put some fucking hole in this wall. I can't see my penis at all. <laughs> Only time I can see it's like in a mirror. God damn it, man. The man, the myth, the legend himself. Wings of redemption. Motherfucker <laughs> looking like Harambe. Jesus Christ. Dude, I think I saw that one live too when he punched the hole in the wall. I'm pretty sure I was li there live for that one. I wish I was there for... um. The one when he started crying. <laughs> All I wanted to do was have a good game. <laughs> Dude, I wish I was fucking there for that. Yo, hold up. Let's end tonight with a song. It was really quite a phenomenon. Fuck it, man. Big Ups Liquid Richard. We're gonna end it with a song, bro. Pick up the new album, Carrie Diamond. Who the fuck you play that Come on. This is both. Teeth. God. God. With the BBC. Dumbass scrub. What the fuck? Peanut butter complexion style. What does the name Liquid Richard mean? It means that because Wings was going on a liquid diet supposedly before his weight loss surgery and there was like this whole fucking joke about his name actually being Richard. So yeah, Liquid Richard. That's kind of what it is. Big old country boy. I'll be that monkey. How are you, fat man in my phone? You play Rainbow Six Siege all day when I'm home. All day when I'm home, I'm when you are, cause you shine so bright, you look like the sun, even in the middle of the night, this is America, money is to be made and spent, bend me over, bend me over, and stroke my BBC, play the fucking set, Get that ass, baby. Visualize me in a bed, nigga. Dude, what's sad is this song is unironically better than like 90% of music. Visualize me in a bed. My wide open and cheek spread. Spread his cheeks. I'm a working motherfucker. I represent new age blacks. Can't believe that you just asked. Please go jack off. How are you, fat man in my phone? Play Rainbow Six Siege all day when I'm home. All day when I'm home. All day when I'm home. Carry I'm when you are. Cause you shine so bright. Real talk, real talk. You look like the sun. Even in the middle of the night. My mod should be doing this. I gotta play. All day slay. All day slay. Fireman Candor, can you please do a band? Shout out to Big Cheese. Fuck Kiwi Farms. Jokes on men. I'm going back for Brandy. Got black, Kenny Fagan, Prozac. Kenny Fagan, Prozac. Black people, black, Brandy. Black people, black, Brandy. I'm going back for Brandy. Don't criticize what I'm doing on the screen. Food, that's just more gas tank for the love machine. For the love machine. You play Rainbow Six Siege all day when I'm home. All day when I'm home. Carry I'm when you are. Cause you shine so bright. Dude, the trolls won like the sun. Even in the middle of the night. 100%. I'm when you are. Cherry Diamond. You look like the sun. New album in May. Shout out Sean Franklin. I know there's gonna be a lot of people out there calling me a bully. 
Well, guess what? I'm not. I just don't feel sorry for fat fucking people, especially fat fucks who sit there all day, gorge and eat, and make money for doing absolutely nothing, while a bunch of sorry fucks like yourself play into it. You don't like what the fuck I'm saying? Then fuck you. <laughs> Great fucking ending, man. But Oski Woski with the two, what's the driver video with the kids? Um, It's called Team Kill Keemstar. If you just type that in, it should pop up. <clears throat> Did Wing's channel get taken down? Did he delete it? No, it's still there. Wait, did he delete it? What the fuck? Bro, did he delete his own channel? No, it's still there. I think he deleted all his content, yeah. That's his channel. He deleted all his videos. Damn, man. The end of an era. He deleted all his videos because of this one called Why I Like Racist Wings um, Redemption. Yeah, this video. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Wings of Redemption. I'm bringing you some <laughs> gameplay the reason here why I deleted it. By the guy right there. <laughs> I want to talk about racism. And I want to talk about why racists do not bother me <laughs> yeah this these are the type of videos why he deleted his fucking channel if you guys want to watch it i'll link it real quick but yeah i'm not gonna watch it tonight <clears throat> but yeah that is why he deleted all of his content because he had videos like this <laughs> so yeah <laughs> what i like about racists <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, it's fucking great. All his old content's hilarious, bro. I used to watch Wings back in the day when he did Call of Duty commentaries. But yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night for tonight, guys. Thanks, everybody, for coming out.